Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy Culture from the background hitting you with uh, Caged Episode 6 with Akara Bang on the bottom right, Colorado's number two Smash player, soon to be ta- overtaking number one. Akara Warlord on the bottom left, Smokey, aka Joe Guy, on the top left, and Beautiful in the top right. What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? Dude, right on time. Right on time. <laughs> I'm just smoky right now. He's just smoky. Hey, he's we're actually really so complicated. Yeah, we're doing West time. Mm-hmm. So we're a little early. Thanks for everyone. <laughs> a, few, a few minutes early. Yikes. Six minutes. Yikes. That's a yikes for sure. Uh, so, anyway. episode six. Finally starting up. We got the man, Akara Bang. What's going on, what dude? Not much, man. Just happy to be here. Excited. Dude, we're excited to have you because we have a lot to talk about. A lot of stuff's been going yeah, on. Yeah. So we got a lot of topics and a lot of shit to talk about. So for those who don't know you, give them a brief background on who you are. Let them know. Quick little plug. Yeah, let them know about you, man. Um. So... I'm one, if not the best, Smash player like Colorado's ever seen. Um, <laughs> I've been playing the game for about three-ish years now, having a good time. Don't really travel because I play football at a D1 level. Um, got a girlfriend. And now that Caden's left me, I I don't have a girlfriend anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> just kind of hanging oh, out. <laughs> Go to weeklies, and that's about it. With that yeah. hairline. <laughs> <Is that her? laughs> Easy, dude. Girl, oh dude. my god! Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, it's gonna start hey. just like that. Hey, we've been going hey. for too long. This this call, dude. Yeah, this has been a long forty minutes. Yeah, so like we literally did our own podcast, just waiting in our fucking like Skype call just for the skills to get going. So, so yeah, we've been here for a while. I blame I blame Bane's camera. <laughs> I blame our producer. But you can't see who that is. So look, man, I tried. I'm just I tried. Kidding. We, hey, like I had to do a lot of dumb named. shit. There what? No name names. You just doubted yourself. <laughs> well, so yeah. I'm just coming from the background, bro. They can't see me. <laughs> get on, get, let's get off this. Man. Let's get <laughs> off this. The whole event. Okay, yeah, let's get off. Let's, this. let's get off this. Yeah, so as you're saying, probably one of the best and well-known Smash players out of Colorado, which I think we'd all agree on. You ended Smash Four. Pretty much on top, you lo- you lost your PR for what one one quarter because you had football, right? Yeah, that's Just the only one? reason I lost it. I mean, I was up there. I think it was two years straight, right. and like literally the last like nine months, which would be like three seasons. I was yeah. just like puttering, just barely making anything. I wasn't playing at all, kind of like yeah. right now, but it's different. Well, I mean, weren't you? Aren't you the all-time leader of FGFs? I mean, I mean, oh yeah, gamers. Gamers used to be the big big scene. You what? Eighteen? Yeah, I passed up 19? by. Like a lot. No, I had more than that. There was like, I don't even remember. I remember at some point I passed X, who was the leader, mm-hmm. and then Shu is like, I think mid twenties. So I think I'm like, I think I counted it. Was I like fifty? It was something. It was something yeah. big. But that's insane. They were back to so, back at one point. Smash Four is Dude. pretty dominant, but that's kind of over. No one really cares about it. So yeah, done. The game moved on so fast. Yeah, you move, you move it's on. Cr- like, it's crazy. How I take the dub. Just, yeah. There's just well, no more blame now. Well, the game moved on so fast. We were seeing the like exact same results that we saw in Smash Four. So did it really? Because we still got the same I mean, people at the top. Stuff like certain people's characters got worse, like my own. So I've picked up and adapted in different ways. Someone like Shu's done the same. And you see the people kind of struggling that we're doing good in Smash Four aren't doing that. They're kind of just sticking with their guns, which is good and bad. Um, but yeah, I've kind of adapted. You kind of got to yeah. move with the game. I mean, there's like 80 characters, so yeah, you got to adapt. Very true. And you started off really hot on this game too, because what we had, Shu won the first what minor, right? But you were did winning he? like, but I think so, didn't he? Did he not over at uh? Oh, oh. Did he won that. Really I didn't, I didn't go I'm talking about was... right. I'm talking about Rocky Mountain, not a uh, actual. Local host. So, but then, yeah. but then right after that, you you ended up taking like 
five of the next six like weeklies did you or around then pretty close yeah it was uh so actually the first month i would say until because it came out in december and i played it right when it came out that not really going to tournaments just playing like the story mode of the uh what, what was it called subspace world, 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 of, world, of, world, light. Of, world of light yeah i played that with my brother because i was like that's the first thing we're gonna do yeah. and i started going to tournaments and things weren't like panning out that well they weren't like i was having fun with it but like i couldn't kill with my character and i was hurting but like mid mid to end of january is when it started to click and then like february started and i started winning like i didn't i think i won four or three straight esfs yeah. so i just started winning and then yeah i mean i've kind of just been chilling well i know it's i know i'm on the record because obviously she was part of the team at that point but i was stating that i thought the pr was a little a little wild i thought that when it came to the rankings, it should have been bang one, shoe two for the first quarter. That's what I was, that's what I thought because you had the more dominant performances when it came to your ESFs. And then you ended up winning like the Rocky Mountain Rumble, like on the second one, I think, right? Second and third? Uh, was the, the last one was the third one, yeah. So you won the so second one. So you, you, so, you, yeah, so you had a second one before like the PR was even released. So I always thought that yeah. the first quarter would have been bang one shoot to but then you got i guess you gotta like throw in the the whole like the boss arcades and you gotta throw in all these other weeklies that get at least what 10 people that participate yeah i don't remember exactly how they yeah how they counted it with like the elo and stuff in the first month but the first month that definitely screwed me a lot like i didn't do good but like all like from january 20 let's just say 23rd to like the beginning of march i was hella dominant but then I had to stop again because of football, which made it, like, sucky because then I couldn't go to anything. And then he just closed it out. And that season, I either beat you by one or we were – I think it was even that season. So we were, like, dead even. But, gotcha. like, he closed it out, and he didn't – he doesn't really lose to anyone that's not me. Even now, like, for the most part, yeah, he just doesn't do it. Yeah, and, like, I'm consistent, but I still have, yeah. like, trouble with other people sometimes. But for the most part, I mean, I beat everyone, and I lose to only, like, five. Yeah, I don't know. I want to jump I, in and I say it's what you're seems, saying, but the way it scores is weird. I want to jump in and say it seems like you only lose to like people who like characters who can like take like 250 plus damage before they fucking die. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, just like watching because like obviously I watch like most of the matches since I do the social media shit. It literally only seems like you die, like you lose to people who like eat that much, bro. Like Bowser. Those Fahrenheit yeah, matches. Yeah, like Fahrenheit matches. Classics. Like, Holy you should shit. win. You Like, those are matches where you definitely should have win, but he eats so fucking much. Yeah, I mean, he played it good. The first time we played, I was upset because if I had my up smash buff, I would have killed him, but he got me that time. I was just kind of playing dumb the second time. I thought Falco was a good idea because I played my local Bowser mm-hmm. with Falco, and I was mm-hmm. like, it, it yeah. could go well. And then I went down 2-0 and barely lost game four, but I was pretty dominant, so... I, I think next time I play with Diddy, it'll be different. I'm going to ah. try to focus way more on Diddy nowadays. I remember that second match Diddy really well. Matchups. I remember that one real well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this man bet like the, the farm on me. You know, like, well. <laughs> I walk in, I was like, wait. I was like, Bang versus Fahrenheit? I was like, dude, Bang should have beat him the first Easy. time. I threw all my money on Bang. I was like, fuck it. They He's literally, okay, the, the New Mexico kids literally like lined up. I was like, they're like five. I was like, yeah, five, ten. Yeah, ten, five, five. I had like four or five of them all bet, and all of a sudden it was like, oh, here's Falco. I was like, wait, what? Falco. Uh, Bro, uh, I was, what's going on? I sat, I sat there just like Dude. so sad, like it oh my god, work. he knows what he's doing. Nick contemplated his <laughs> life right there, bro. <laughs> that picture, so that picture, oh man. Yeah, you've seen that picture, right, Bang? Of yeah, like Nick just looking he's dead. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just staring, like, and then he, oh, then he pulls out Diddy, and like, yeah, he wins the very next match, and then uh, the fourth one, he's like right there. I was like, son of a bitch. I was like, motherfucker. But oh well, that's what happens, you know. You win some, you lose. Can't win them all. Exactly. Well, I couldn't win any of that. I I love, I love the New Mexico (laughs) scene. I mean, I I do really like when they come up here, and I haven't been down there in a while, but I do like the New Mexico scene. They uh, funded my rent and groceries for quite a while, so it's nice to see them finally (laughs) win something. 
bro. Oh, smash I, I agree. They were they were really mm-hmm. cool, man. And Dude, like, I love them. I really do. They they were nice. They, yeah, I actually did not like mind paying them because they were just funny as hell. Like they had. There might have been like ten or fifteen people left because it was pretty late, but those dudes were fucking wild, they man. Were popping off, it was pretty cool. They yeah. they were popping off so much that next door, like the bingo hall, sent their security people over because it was too damn loud. We should have, <laughs> we should have more. That's great. Like that call from Colorado, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We got Pop metal wrens. What do you guys think about Schumann leaving? discuss all right hey so we'll, we'll, we'll bring this up because this is about bang so we'll bring it up for a couple minutes mm-hmm. well a few minutes so you know shit happens obviously this wasn't new to us because i guess uh he had been talking to armada for a while and it, i guess what threw me off was when uh it came to contract it wasn't anything like they offered really nothing in fact they ended up taking more from him my point i guess for what he was trying to do was I guess he wanted like maybe just fresh air. Uh, you know, they have Best Nest, they have Prodigy, yeah, the Mirrors. I think he was just trying to, well, hey, I got they got this powerhouse lineup for Smash on this, you know, all wearing the same logo. I'm gonna try it out. You know, I have no hard feelings, man. Like, I wasn't happy, but I understood, and I'm never gonna try to hold somebody down for you know trying to advance themselves. Even though I think, like I said, Akari Gaming better offer, but. Oh, you're, gonna, you know, you're, you're still gonna buy their shoes, right? Yeah. Has that been? I, I I need to know what's going on with that. It, I'm I'm it, interested. It's gonna be announced tomorrow. They were saying. I'm gonna be looking at that announcement, bro. They, I want to see what's going on. Nice big sneak sneakerhead over here decided to want to get a sneaker con over at Smash tournament. We bro, get... I was ready to go to that fucking sneaker con before <laughs> going to the event. <laughs> But we no, you know, like I said, it, it shit happens. I know other people have some thoughts on it, but for me, it is what it is. I hate that phrase so much, but it really is in this case. Like it is what it is. Like he knew, he knew deep down the last month what he wanted to do. Uh, my problem was like, you know, he waited for fucking ever to sit there and tell me. He told me like two days before, saying like, "Hey, you have the better, you got the better deal," and I was like, "Oh, cool, all right." And then, like, he hit me up at, like, 11 o'clock at night. I woke up, and he's like, hey, do you mind if I, like, keep digging in deeper to this contract? And at that point, I'm like, oh, I know you want to sit there, and you want to make you're, – you're looking for a way out. And I'm like, that's cool. And then I, I, you know, I found out what was on the contract, and I was like – I was like, bud, like, there's nothing being offered, like, well, at when all. You're, when you're talking about contracts, like, I know I'm curious, and Matrix is wondering as well, like, are you able to tell us kind of what the – contract was or is that something you want to kind of keep between you and shu or like um so like so uh, like yeah. well, i mean it's not just between him and shu but right right well, yeah well do you want to discuss like what my deal was with shu or what or what armada's was like, oh, i mean because like for I mean, me just comparative like because i don't i don't know exactly which the either were so i was more just curious. okay i got you so so like what i do with bang and uh shu is I really do not want to pay for their monthlies and their weeklies because a they fucking farm the hell out of it and they always win, so I know they're <laughs> never losing out on it. But when it comes to like the regionals and majors, my deal was I always will pay their venue fees, all their entry fees, whatever they want to do, and that was kind of like the deal like when we first started because I am still really small. Uh, Akari Hitman is my only other co-owner and investor in the team at the moment, so. What we did when Sakari King, that might happen, honestly. Dude, but I, sat there. I said that. I'm... What? What? Go. I said King I said King over Mellow like months ago, before Ultimate was even out. I told you. The man's an animal. At this point, I'd like to discuss it, but we can yeah, get to no, that later. No. King is a. All right. Hey, I no, King is an animal. There's no fucking doubt. But I, let's be honest. We know who the. I like Mel. I wish, I wish y'all motherfuckers would play doubles with each other more often. That's for sure. Me and yeah, you me guys and are Mel? fucking nasty oh, at Mel. Yeah, yeah, there's doubles. no, there's yeah. no better team for doubles. Interesting. Yes, there between... There's Caden and Bang. <laughs> there's Caden and Bang. Oh, yeah. Snap. How many wins does that have for? Like. <laughs> no, but me and Shu, me and Shu are definitely the best. We just oh. haven't teamed together really. 
not I'm even telling close, you. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I think me well, and I'm Lennon would be you, the team we, if shoe wasn't a thing. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I don't know. I'm just saying I watch y'all get bodied as a team. And then I see you and Melo fucking go right in and smoke everybody. That's, see, that's, that's like saying if I did that at the beginning of this game in singles and you're like, oh, he was just getting Smash 4. It's like me and Shu dominated everyone for a very long time. And we're the best doubles teams by far. And we, like, made a lot of upsets. We went out of state a decent – way more than I do now, and we were awesome. So, I mean – But isn't, we just have but isn't that a different – but we, didn't we just talk about how that's a different game? I'm like – it is, but like like in this game, we both are gonna play different characters and dubs, and it's gonna work out. I promise you. It's it's like it's like Call of Duty though. Like you might yeah, it's a different game, but Scump and Cram are still Scump and Cram. You know, it's kind of how it is with them. Like yeah, it might be a different uh, game. But I don't. It might be I a different like game. Energy. I would say that doesn't make sense either, because you look at the whole World World War Two. Those dudes got smoked at every fucking event. They never ended up being anything for that game. They were like a laughing stock when it came to it. They were like contemplating <laughs> retirement and contemplating like. Who are we talking about right now? It's true. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, I was making, I was comparing Christian and Shu's chemistry as a team, like, like it's similar to how Scump and Krim were like, you know, game to game for the most part, it's pretty rock solid. Like you know, they have a lot of trust in each other at the end of the day. Like yeah, right. results, me, me results, results, results are results, <laughs> but like being able to trust your teammates is a different thing. Okay. Yeah. I guess I guess he kind of has a point. Yeah, they were. No, he has a point, but I'm saying I like the mellow thing. I guess that's just me because I like watching them win. I love I think... teaming with Mellow, but sometimes I gotta carry him to the end of the earth. Well, that's I'm not gonna lie. Mellow was pretty fucked up at uh, Rocky Mountain Rumble. That dude was fucking getting lit. Yeah, I mean, when we gotta get a dub, <laughs> we get the dub. Right. But, yeah. No, no doubt. All I'm saying is I watched you guys team twice, and I, then I watched you guys, like, smoke everybody twice. So that's why it's, like, stuck in my head. There's no doubt when it came to, like, yeah. Smash 4, like, you and Shu were, like, stole everything. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, back to, like, contract-wise, you know, that was pretty much what I had in agreement with these guys. And Armada's, like, the exact same. They don't pay for, uh... No, they're not the exact same, because if they did pay for, like, uh... If they did pay for regionals and they paid for majors, they expected a 15% kicker back. And I guess that would cover what they put out. Me, I don't ask for anything back because I don't, I don't know. This Them winning and them doing good at like events is just free promotions for me. And I'm willing to like pay that money as like almost a promotion fee because like I know they're going to win. I know they're going to place well. I don't need to take any of their winnings because they earned it. So I'll never, I'll never ask for a kicker fee. I mean, that's that's how I look on it. A lot of orgs make their money from that. Mm-hmm. But now that we have, like, the monthly at Akihabara, that's pretty much going to be my gateway to making an income. And then also, like, like I said, the money I bring in from those is how I'm going to be paying for, you know, our Call of Duty teams, the entry fees for these guys going to majors and regionals and shit like that. But, like, in the end, there is, like, there is no hard feelings, man. I don't, I don't, like I said, I wasn't the happiest, but I'm also, you know, I'm a businessman. I got what she was saying, so I'm not going to hold it against him. He did a lot for a car game, and there's no doubt he was, he's had, and like, especially this year, he's actually had some really, really good placings. So, like I said, there's no hard feelings, man. It's, it is what it is. I hope he does continue to do well. He's going to, yeah. And I hope he, I hope he, yeah, he, you know, gets what he wants. Yeah, I think he just wants a little bit more exposure. And hopefully by throwing that Armada jersey on and playing with, uh, Playing to people like Best Ness and like the Mirans and the Prodigies and hope oh, was a Ned or whatever. I hope he can like maybe fit in with those guys and you know do well. But that's all I gotta say about that. One. I, don't know. I, I agree Talk. with basically everything you said, but the whole like him with Ned and Prodigy and Best Ness, it's just that's not true. Like well, <laughs> they, I'm trying to be like, like political yeah. here. Okay, let's be honest. Like. I compared it to like Kevin Durant going to the fucking Warriors is what I compared it to. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I that's what I serious? compared it to. I was comparing to KD. Going... Oh no, 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 like he's like gonna live through their success almost like by him sharing the same jersey like when they do really good it's gonna help him and his like outlook are they gonna just like help him i guess practice and stuff yeah but i was like that's not that's gonna happen. but that's but if that's what you're wishing for that's kind of all stuff that could happen no matter what team you're on like this is a fucking solo fucking esport 
it's a you know it's one on one. So I don't know what he's really getting at. Plus, you look at Best Ness, who's he tuning up at? Uh, what's it, Ascension or whatever? He's with Pixel, not even on the same, not even on fucking uh, Armada. Armada. These guys don't Pixel's even play good, doubles dude. with each other. They're yeah, both Joe. Utah. Pixel's good. <laughs> Joe, he Joe, you want to talk about that one, Joe? We talked about that His earlier. Ryu was <laughs> sick. I think sick, it's, it's a different game though for Ryu. I don't know who he's been playing. I haven't seen him in. I see Bowser Jr. and we like he he plays Falco too. Okay. Yeah. So. Falco's sick, dude. I don't know. So I don't know if you guys have any more insight on what you guys want to say about the whole shoe thing, but like I've said my piece on what I thought. Uh, Y'all are the players. Sure. Like I, I mean, Bang's a. I'd like to know what Bang says, especially because like you know, it's always he's they're the number one and two in the state. They've had their rivalry for the last few years. And then under the same umbrella too. Yeah, I, yeah. I like it. See, I like that idea of like it's competitive now. It's like oh, a car won. It's like a car only wins now if you win. Right, so it's like, very true. It's different. <laughs> I know yeah. that were, I know that people used to get salty as fuck because it was like Akara win <laughs> Smash Four, Smash Four, Akara, and Akara. It was always us at the top, you know. So it is gonna be yeah. cool to see an actual rivalry where it actually like I'll actually pay more attention. So I won't be lying, man. There's time where you guys are in grand finals. I just kind of like walk away because <laughs> I'm all just you so used to it. Everybody does. Jerseys. Yeah, dude. It's like I'm so I've seen this before. Well, it's like when you would see you'd see one, two, shoe bang, three, mellow. You know, it's a a car losers finals, winners finals, and grand finals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was, when it was the, like that was always that must have been nice well, to see. You know, just well, especially see in Smash like, Four, oh. like even when Bane took his break, like Mellow ended up finishing number two because then he like you know had a really good run towards the end of Smash Four. And so I mean, like I said, I'm, I've been. I've been like spoiled fucking like crazy always is watching Akara fucking at the top for the local scene. So it's been this will be kind of refreshing. And you know, I'll be able to root for Bang all the time now instead of just like, all right, well, I'm a winning anyway if Bang or Shoe wins. Like it's a win win for me. But now it's you like, always rooted for me anyway. Oh my. That's kind of true. I liked how you're, 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 she was a little too I nice. I kind of did you, too, bro. You, Loki. You, re, you reminded me a little too much of myself. I was like, yeah, I was like, Bang's a little bit more savage. Like I kind of, enjoy the savagery yeah. a little bit more than dude i just enjoy like, nice watching guy. uh i just enjoy watching bang play more than shoe to be completely honest he's just like is a lot more entertaining to watch like the shit he does and like even when it gets like a lot like really close it's still like a lot more entertaining because even if he loses it's always like crazy like okay put the amount of matches that shoe does like where renz and joe go like holy fucking shit compared to like bang right yeah. All I know is the most True. exciting match still for me is like, and that's not like uh, disrespect for Shu at all. Like he's still nasty. Yeah. I just, yeah. I mean, still, the, it's, still it's, the most exciting match was Bang versus fucking Fahrenheit. Dude, uh, when, when he like did the, the side beat and hit the banana, down. that shit was wild. Like I was like actually jumping up. Like I was like, oh god, no, no. He's Dude, not I was it. too. I was sitting over here in my room talking to Adrian on Xbox, and I was like, holy fucking shit, dude! Like it was. Wild, I thought Bang won like twice. And I was getting like kite. I, I, like, I was like, it's still going. And I was, I was so sad. But it was such a great match. I was like, damn, dude. It was sick. Damn. Man. But yeah. Anyone else? What before we end that topic? Anyone else got some insight, Kate and Joe? Dude, bye, Felicia. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah, I think it's interesting again. Yeah, that we're gonna have two wars now. Trying to vibe for top in colorado well and then that that brings another thing i guess we can throw on that like armada being partnered up with the uh, esports arena from springs so like yeah armada's definitely like in colorado now like it's it's pretty apparent so it's going to be uh yeah. really exciting on you know how shit gets going and it doesn't yeah it's 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 cool man i'm, I'm, I'm still down with this do what a car king would that work? Would it work? Are we discussing oh, yeah. this right now? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just curious. I know everyone. I like King, but I'm just, just throwing it King. out there. Now, right, now well, you, I, I think it'd be it. nice to see him in well, something yeah. other than that, like hoodie oh, yeah. all the time. <laughs> hey, he wore a regular shirt at Rocky Mountain Rumble. I don't know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm more curious on. So we, I, we, I saw it on Twitter. 
briefly with like Christian's opinion on the Arcadian talk being put Ooh, on by Shu. That's by, a- by, by, by Joshua Schumann himself running this Arcadian. That's a good topic. Yeah. What He's are your thoughts on Arcadians? Okay, so I think my opinion got a little misconstrued, but not as much okay. as you might think. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I do think that Arcadians are the fight to be. I'm going to put it in a way that somebody commented on it. I thought it was the funniest shit. It's it's like the competition <laughs> to be the tallest midget. It's like <laughs> you're not tall. You're still short, but you're like congrats like you're not you're you're the best of the little ones. I I always support uh lower level and mid level growth. Um I really do. And I think Arcadi I don't even think Arcadians are like necessarily a bad thing. I just think the precedent for them isn't good. Like when I see people preparing different this whole week because of it, I'm like that's not that's not good. Like it's like why don't you do that for the normal tournament? Like you're gonna be impressed. Someone's gonna say, Oh, you won the Arcadian, who'd you beat? And they're like, I don't even know. And it's like, yeah, because like you didn't beat anyone that was worthwhile. Yeah. It's just like if you're gonna try, try all the time. And Ar- if let's see. Arcadians so are dumb. People are like, I really wanna win. You know if you're allowed to go to an Arcadian, it means you suck, right? You want to be the best of the worst, dude. That's pretty much what I mean. But it, it is like it's pretty. Like, you're literally. Just, it makes your, sense. Your main saying. goal, your main goal, should not to be to win an Arcadian. It should be to make PR to win an all actual right, tournament. All right, all right, all right. Outside mm. of all this philosophical stuff you guys are talking about, you're like, oh, it feels good to win and all that. Christian's just mad he can't win the money. If we're gonna be, if we're gonna be realistic here, he's just mad that he can't enter in and take all these kids free money. It was I got a free things. Saturday and I can't and I can't use it. It sucks. Yeah, I'm free upset. free Saturday. There's there's a couple hundred dollar prize pool. And Christian's like, you know what? I'm he's he's. They tell him, hey, you're too good, buddy. Like, why don't you just sit here and watch and you know enjoy Bro. the show? Some of the comments are priceless though. So you're saying I should just sleep in Saturday? <laughs> like, there's, some, there's some funny stuff. Like I, I was dying. Read. I was dying because you could see like the white knights that were coming out. You could see the guys that were actually gonna go but still having fun. Like they understood you were no, saying, but. but... Yeah, yeah, I thought that shit was. I thought that shit was hilarious, bro. I thought that was just funny. It's like, hey, all yeah. I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is Dark Buffalo could enter in a tournament. See, so, I'm saying uh, Dizzy Squid can I've, make an appearance. Dark Buffalo, I've, Steel Kangaroo, you know. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen King K Rule Lover sixty nine and you know Kara Bang in the same place. You know, it's interesting. Yeah, King K Rule Lover sixty nine could attend. <laughs> I hear he's pretty good. He could win. <laughs> that should be a lot. So then we all we're all kind of like on the same page, and we're thinking Smirk's gonna go ahead and just smoke everybody and win their oh, I, I think yeah. Smirk's honestly, I don't want to be the jerk that's like, dude, guys, don't let Smirk do this because clearly he's gonna be PR. So like, don't let that happen, especially for like we haven't even had two PRs, like we're about to, but yeah. it's just like a waste. Like Smirk's literally just gonna eat everybody, and I mean, I don't it's, exactly. It's, know what it's like a, it's like the perfect said. storm for him. Like yeah, I don't even know where Smirk's like, head's at, but like he has bigger, loftier goals. Like he's beaten me, yeah. he's beaten Jesus, he's beaten a lot of people. He doesn't. I mean, it's free money, and I like the argument. As weird as it sounds, when people are like, all these people that are keep fueling your pot, give them, give them some money. Like you know, like feed them back. And I'm like, yeah, I can dig that. Like why not? But at the end of the day, you shouldn't want to like just be getting by or just be getting the wins you're supposed to. You want to like – because I was in the same spot all these people were before, and I changed Mm -hmm. it. It's like go change it. Get motivated to do something better like long term, not just like one weekend of, oh, I won the Arcadian. I'm going to put it on my Twitter bio. It's like, yeah, you still have 30 followers. (laughs) No one cares. So like, well, it's like <laughs> on the flip side too. Like we all know, like Smash community is historically a little like on the softer side. I would say, like you know, yeah. mentality wise. So like, if you put like, if you say the idea of like an Arcadian, like, put it's is to put the art like the idea of an Arcadian is to put the worst like the quote worst or like mid level players in a tournament that they can like try to win. So like, what what is it? What how does it feel to be a player to you know get knocked out in like round two of losers? at an Arcadian, like, that's just how, like, the fastest way to get people to stop playing, like, the game, too, like, just keep a normal yeah. tournament, I'll tell you right, I'll tell you right now, if somebody's, like, joined, if somebody's into a tournament, and they're, like, you know what, I'm gonna really try hard at Arcadian today, I can't get upset by, you know, the only person that can beat me is a car bang, you know, I just keep running into him, and that's the reason I lose, and then he just gets there and gets, you know, ran through by two nobodies, like, how does that make it? Yeah, like, bro, going 0-2 yeah. would fucking, like, 
That's the that biggest so ego sad. hit. The ego that would hit, make dude. Me so sad. I think they right. could. Uh, some somebody just play it off though. Yeah. They're just yeah, like. But how uh, do you play? How do you look yourself the in the mirror? How do you yeah. look yourself in the mirror and be like, "Yo, I just went O two at an Arcadian, and nobody well, good can even answer." But I went O two like, and it wasn't even like games. The hope. Well, they probably gonna run into somebody they ran into because they're we we're not that big of a scene. And then when you're fairly low seed, the scene is <coughs> random, so they probably yeah. run into these people on like the lower end, losers yeah. brackets. And, and they, see, here's my thing too. Sorry, you can finish. You can finish. And yeah, so the, it's like they they'll probably be able to play it off and be like, okay, well, this guy, he either that or they'll just think the person was some sleeper. That's the hope that these people just continue to be okay dude, with. Dude, going glass half it. glass half full. Dude, I'm glass half empty. Dude, you fucking. That's the biggest ego hit. Dude, people are quitting. Dude, like, yo, I can't beat this guy. Why am I trying to join a regular tournament? I think yeah. Joe guys over here, like, yo, this is great motivation. I was close, I mean, you know. I got this guy's my bracket. Dude. They might take it that way. Go. We don't. I, they, I don't know because, like, why? Why would it? Why would it matter if they're still going zero and two at the regular bracket? Because that's how you know you're bad. That's like it's like I'm going zero and two. Wow! I, wow! You know, I I had to play a really high seed. Do you I think that would be the straw that broke the camel's back after they're Hell taking yeah, so would. many lashes? Oh yeah, it would, bro. Hey, not, hey, man, I had to play the twenty seed out of a hundred. Man, that guy was pretty good. You know, he's in he's in the top twenty percent. You know. Or you know, whatever. Yeah. He, he's up there, bro. I had to play this guy who was you know thirtieth out of the sixty person, sixty person yeah. Arcadian. No, no, Ed, but that dude would be like eightieth out of normal. Still dude, see, are I, that's in the strong. Arcadian. Yeah, but you're talking about the. But these people are the lowest of the lows, like in the yeah. like, skill wise. These people already probably have like, like this like negative like you know I'm already not good enough. I can't compete at the regular tournament. Now they can't compete at a. At a like a little Arcadian, why would they? Like, then, then, then you yeah. start asking yourself, why but, compete? And these people already have. Well, especially if you're a newer yeah. player. If you're a newer but, player, yeah. that's really gonna fucking work. That's just like gonna, for me, I would be fucking sad. That's gonna like, happen <laughs> no matter what I'm saying. And plus, when you get that low level, like it's so random. Like when you start to get to the mid level and the low level, these people could win. These people can lose. That's kind of what makes it exciting, though. Yeah. Jesus was like, it's betting day. I'm like, all right, exactly. yeah, I'm down. Because, Try like, to get you my get these uh, matchups. in the ring. Yeah, you get these matchups that, like, would normally happen somewhere else or maybe not at all. And, like, at that lower level, it's like the game isn't as consistent. No one is as consistent. Or else they would be yeah. a higher level. Does anyone know if Bagel's entering? I got $10 saying Bagel finishes top eight. I'll take that bet right now, dude. I'd take it too. I'll take that bet right now. Who's you guys I, t- I, t- I take Venmo, PayPal. You can shit me ten dollars. <laughs> I take cash. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You guys don't got no. You guys don't think bagels do it? I love the name. S- sit in there dude. at a. Sit in there at RMR. We were like with friends, and you know I'm collecting money with them, and just get it like matching people's faces with their gamer tags is like the most satisfying thing. So like you have bagel walk up, and then you have like coleslaw. When coleslaw walked up, I was dead. I didn't know what to do. I just saw him. I was like, bro, your name's the coleslaw, tag. bro. I'll it tell was you right awful. now. Here, here. You make it happen. <coughs> in California now. I will put. Ten dollars that coleslaw will beat bagel in an exhibition match. I don't know how to set this up. Dude, <laughs> coleslaw is, he's probably gonna get top eight. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, coleslaw. No, you get to elite eight, dude. Easy. Free. But I'm trying to think oh. because I have to think about all the people that are able to qualify, you know? Because yeah. then I'm like, wait, like, wait, is Tusk like gonna go? Big Red could qualify, right? Is well, Tusk no. going? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what about Wait. what about Freddy? What about Reptile? Yeah, he, was he PR? Rept, was rept, was but, he Smash Four PR? You, I don't remember. He was. He, he was Smash Four PR. PR. Yeah. It's only yeah. the last two quarters, though, right? But yeah, I think he was. He was on the last two. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or he was on a. I think Big Red might been in too. Maybe. Well, Big Big Red. Um. He was the HM. What about a uh, what about um Fishbait? Is it, has he been doing kind of work? Link. He just shows up out of he's, nowhere. He's on the PR though. Yeah, he's on the PR now. He is. I didn't think yeah. he made this last one. Okay. Yeah, he there are some like, loophole people though. I got yeah. all my Greeley squad coming down, dude. I, if Silent Mage went, he would eat everyone alive. 
a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. he he'd eat smirk alive, or like or I think he would win pretty heavily against It'd be smirk. A, I don't know a, a smirk a smirk selling mage uh, grand finals. That's what I mean. That's what it would be. Smirk slapped him last time they played. The young Oof. god, dude. If Willie decided he wanted to play, dude. Dude, you have no idea. If he decided he wanted to be like a dude, he'd be. Smashed. What's holding him back? Like the drives from Greeley, girlfriend. He, no, so? he just doesn't care. Like, like uh, we'll come. It's... He'll come and play at my house. Like we, he played like last week or something like that, and we were playing for like a couple hours. And I can grind Smash for like ever. Like if I play with Shu, we can just play all day, and it's not a big deal. We'll switch it up, but we'll, we'll we'll be playing for like an hour, hour and a half, and then he'll like start to get bored, and then he's like, "Hey, let's go into training mode and test these things." And I was like, "Okay." But he like learns like that, and then he's like, "Hey, let's go play online." And then we'll be playing online for like three hours. And I'm like, "You want to get back to singles?" And he's like, I'm "Having fun." I'm like, "All right." Like well, we're kind of online. He's, he's made a few appearances though, right? Because I've seen him go. I think I've seen him there, right? At uh, I'm talking, I'm talking dubs with Smash Meter on, like, oh, like, wow. like that. Like, like team attack is <laughs> off. Yeah, he, he he he'll go every now and again, and like you could see the natural. Like Smasher and him, when he almost beat me at the first FGF, I think I went to, or something like that, where he just like he'll grind the game and he like learns about it. He's one of those guys that'll tell you a fact about the game you had no idea about. He'll be like, "Really? That's a thing?" And then his combo game's nuts. He mixes up shield like crazy. He's I just nothing but good things for him, except his work work ethic, which is probably you know, but yeah, yeah, you gotta have. I damn Willie do. Willie could do it. Fucking Willie. Fucking Willie. <laughs> oh, God. So we got we got we got Smirk winning it all, and then you guys think Cole's not bait. I got no, I think Cole's I think Cole's okay. sleeping. So it's like a race six. for second. Damn, pretty Who's much. got the seconds? Who's got it? What's what's up with that? Now that's a little who's tricky. Our, well, so who's our top? Did Psychic three? spell? So... Dude, Psy, he could if, if he if he come, if he comes in on the right day, I can do it. No, uh, you know so... who my second pick is actually? Who? Dory got. Dory? Dude, or what about um? Oh wait, no, 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 Jutsu, Jutsu. Oh, Jutsu, I'm saying Jutsu. Jutsu. Jutsu's up there. Okay, what about um? What about late to the now? The one that's always up with like really weekly. He's always running. I Saturday literally, I, I messaged him this morning and I was like, hey, hey, what are you doing on Saturday, man? He's like, like go work. Be, I'm like, he, dude, he could do go. it. He could do it up there at least a little bit. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. And then Dory, Dory was there this last uh this last uh Tuesday. Yeah, he was. He was he there was last Tuesday well. too. I heard he fought King K. Rule over sixty nine. Didn't go too hot. Who's the well, I mean, boss? Probably Dory. I think Dory's the one that no one really like really understands, and he's like really good too. He's solid. Damn. Yeah. Damn. There we go. Stupid Arcadian. Smirk, dude. Smirk win it all, and then second place is got a few, a few, a uh, few people that can take it. But Smirk, the young god. Smirk the young beast. The and green bagel, beast from and the bagel top eight. Hell yeah. I, I, wish, I wish P and Beige. Dude, Coleslaw is gonna go through a bagel, dude. Running through a bagel. He doesn't fucking want it. I Cole saw bagel. Sauce. He doesn't want who, it. Dude, who, who, okay, no, listen, um, listen. Hold on, no, listen, there's who names yourself on. bagel? Who names himself? Okay, the same Coleslaw. guy that names himself like, fucking Coleslaw. I don't know. <laughs> you're had, you're had, what are you talking about? Your head KFC's Coleslaw? Yeah, fucking sucks. Coleslaw sucks. I'm I mean, okay. Bonds, yeah. So, what else do you want to say, Caden? Yeah, it's fucking shit. It's sorry, crazy. sorry. Can can you can you name a place that a bagel's like you know just famous at? All I'm saying, Einstein. Uh, Einstein bagels, Brugger's bagels. Fucking yeah, stupid ass. Oh, bro, place, you are. Yo, what is this place, place, talking bro. about? Can someone like? Jesus, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Damn. <laughs> He's trying to say that Coleslaw's good and bagels aren't worth <laughs> shit. Like, I'm oh, sorry, bud. Wrong chat for that. Yeah. They're both they're both oh. pretty shitty, if we're going to be honest. If we're going to have breakfast here, we're going to have pancakes or waffles. And if we're going to have a side for, like, a Kentucky Fried Chicken shit, it's going to be some goddamn mashed potatoes. Like, come on. Yeah, neither of them are good. Potatoes. That's why That's why it's an Arcadian here, because neither of them are good. Neither of <laughs> them are on the PR. <laughs> they don't have you know fried chicken on the Arcadian. Yeah, they don't yeah have, you, like, can't, you can't, you can't have, you can't can't have mashed food, potatoes man. or pancakes and because they're you know they're in the top ten of PR, you just oh, didn't yeah. work. Yeah, you know? they're just behind. Who's the who were the, you and Ren's betting against that was playing Sam or no Smirk played Samfish? Oh, who, oh, who you guys made Kat, a, was Kathar. it Yeet? Kathar. Kathar. Oh, Cathar, but wasn't our guy like Yeet or Yeet or something? Yeeks is also really good. So if Yeeks, Cathark, if they show up, that right. that'll be interesting. 
So I don't think Cathark guys, will because he was he was crying about the springs. But I bet if Yeeks goes down, bro, that's a top three. That's top three for me. I got yeah, him top three. Yeah, those are yeah. good. Picks. Matrix on bagels up here in North LA, at least not near. See, me. see, but that's the thing I like is like the top three people, or maybe even four in my opinion, would be Cathark, Dory, Smirk, and uh, Yeeks. Not in that order, but right. all four of those guys they're still doing stuff on a main stage. Yeah. So it's like, hey, go take this money. It's kind of the same thing as we used to send um, a recruit every week to FGF just so noobs couldn't win the pot bonus because that's that's not okay. So I'd go to ESF and I'd win it, and then JFK or Jesus or Fabian, Fabian was going there for a while, would go there and they would take the money because right. we don't want participation that. money. Yeah, like I'm not cool with that, no. Yeah, dude. You're so not now I think about nobody it. and then get 500 bucks. No. I so was like, now I think about like Rocky Mountain. Like, it was pretty entertaining towards the end because like Cathark had his little run. Yeah. And like he's, he's really and, and Sam Fish and Smirk was a good match. Like <laughs> Smirk Sam, went up on him big Sam's at really first, good. and then Sam Fish like brought it back, and it was like a wild, wild match. So yeah, no, that's that's some good points. <clears throat> I don't know. It's Arcadian. I'm on, I might stop by and take a look. Probably well, not. yeah, for betting, you're a big betting guy, big sports betting guy. It's esports betting now. Dude. I know. If Bagel yeah, goes on the main stage, I'm Nick, join really the bro. Arcadian with the Joy Cons, bro. I don't have yeah, a controller. Dude. No, the Joy Cons. With the Joy Cons. <laughs> Hell no. I'll, get, I'll be that guy that goes like, oh, and borrow like Arcadian Joe's controller or something. And it will destroy <laughs> me. Why don't you just like borrow Joe's that. controller or some shit? Even though, if I'm being honest, my first I can end my my very first match I ever played at ESF, I won. Just to throw it out there. You did, poor guy. You told me you were gonna talk shit and you didn't. I didn't felt bad. Dude, I felt so that bad dude because controller or some shit. Or like cry or some <laughs> shit. Ooh. No, when he come, when he looked at me, I was, he's like, "Oh man, you're gonna do?" I was like, "Dude, I've never played this shit before." I was like, "I need all the help I can get." And then I like proceeded just to smoke him real quick. And I was like, I looked at him at the end, and I was like, "Good game." He just gave me this look, like you piece of shit. Like he said, I was like, "No, I really did it, man. He I don't know how to up. play. I don't know how to play this because like it's, next it's, match, it's like it's fucked up, man. <laughs> Dude, it it's was like kind of fucked up. Street, but it was funny. Like TV's here, the guys here, right? You give them the no look fist bump because you don't want to look him in the eyes. You're just like, "Yeah, good luck." You're like, "Good job, dude." Like, dude, yeah, shout out. Oh, but no, my dumbass. I was like, "Fuck! How do I disconnect my pro controller?" I was like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." <laughs> you're a bastard. That's what I would do. You're, you're like, you're asking like, "Yo, so how do I connect this controller?" Like, "Hey, where can I change my, where can I change my controls?" And you just roll through and be like, "Oh, by the way, I've never played before." And you try to like walk off. This dude just like demoralized. <laughs> you do the nastiest combo in the world. He's like, "Yeah, I don't know how to play this game. Just picking it up for fun." All I know just is he only, he, only took, he only took one stock for me, so I was, like, really wow. feeling fucking sad. I was like, dude, I got to get out of here. That's I, tough, I, and then I got dude. humble because I played Jesus, like, right after. I was like, this is bullshit. That's funny. I was like, really? I was like, I can't play some other shit here real quick. I can be, like, Jesus next. Fuck. That's what happens. Yeah, that's how it works. And then I lost. And then I lost to fucking Joe's buddy, who I didn't even know was Joe's buddy. I'm all talking the shit with him. And then it's like, and then he's like, "Wait, oh, we play each other? Oh, so mad at Joe. Fuck <laughs> out, pissed. All three of us were just talking, and I knew they played each other. Fuck you, dude. I knew. Baseball, bro. They were I was just so talking. Angry. They were just going at it. Like, and then they were like, uh. Warlord? <laughs> we walked up at the same time. He's, he's <laughs> like, he's like, oh, Adam. I'm that. He's like, oh, Station Eight. I was like, I'm at Station Eight. I was like, fuck you, Joe. I was so <laughs> mad, bro, because I was like, this motherfucker knew. I they turn him. around and look at me, and I'm just. He's just laughing. He's like, let's get it going, boys. He's like, let's get ready. I was pissed. I was so angry at Joe. They bro. had a nice civil talk before uh, they played a bracket. You the never massacre. Did. It was a massacre. I got smoked. Damn. Dude, I just remember so, playing. I had to play. I had to play me self stupid. Goddamn PK fire Ness. Ness? Oh, that on, night, dude. Ness is, Ness is a piece of garbage. He's one of Ness the worst the, characters. Ness is the worst character to ever play against. I just Gosh. don't like the design. Yeah. He's got fire. He's got the grass. He's got that he got bear. That. Giant he's bear. He's got that bear. You know the God, one where he's like. And yeah, it's just yeah. huge. And then his up air is like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, I mean, Ness. Is like, <laughs> it's, 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 especially guy. the only time Ness is cool is when you roll around in pizza in a what's it? What do you call him? Pizza, pizza shirt guy. Yeah. Base, baseball. Baseball tee. Baseball tee Ness, dude. 
Pizza just... guy. <laughs> okay, pizza, so pizza guy. I got, I got, I got a topic. So I okay. asked this to shoe. I'm ready. And I, I was uh, talking about like the esports scene now in Colorado, how we have multiple venues. I just want to get your thoughts on like what the scene's looking like, the growth. Like, are you happy with it? Do you see some like, do you see like a dream hack coming back to Denver or something big? And we need a big, a big major. Even though we have local hosts, I, I still don't think they're doing it the right way. But like, what are your thoughts on um, the scene right now as it stands? It's definitely better, but it's better from basically abysmal. Um, I just yeah. think that Denver is such a phenomenal location. I mean, Colorado in general is just such a good location for a tournament like DreamHack. And I think the DreamHack guys saw that, and that was successful. But, I mean, mm-hmm. since then, we've really had nothing. I think Localhost is a great venue. Are they doing it right? Maybe not. Can they hook it up to where they could do it right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it only um, takes one event to like yeah. really make that shit pop. Especially at the beginning of this game, I just think it's so important. I just think people are being lazy because, like, we can find a venue and we can get a lot of people here because this is, like, a great scene. And it's a great area. Like, not enough people, like, everyone's like, oh, I always travel to, like, California. And it's like, yeah, I'm always in California or Vegas. It's like, but they've never been to Colorado. And then when they come here, they love it. And they, like, they love the scene and everything. So it's just, like, such an underrated place that I think that it really needs to go down. And hopefully it's just a matter of time, but we just need the right people setting it up. And, right because uh, you think yeah, about it now just... we have we have local host you have gameworks which gameworks is on the decline still even if i'm doing that big out that big fucking tournament you yeah. know nobody wanted to show up to it well um, i would just say overall it's like a waste of potential because i think that we have so much potential but we just gotta but no one's pull our heads out of our butts it. yeah so yeah you have akiabara you have the the esports arena in springs local host gameworks like yeah there's a lot of shit that's popping up and like I said, if local hosts, like, obviously they have the most put, like potential out of anybody just because of, like, an 18,000-square-foot venue makes it really yeah. accommodating. My thing of them is, like, for instance, <clears throat> next month, you know, we have the that whole weekend of $20,000 being spent. So you have, like, the minor for Smash, obviously, which is going to be $2,500. Then you have the uh, Fortnite minor, which is going to be $2,500. But then you have the csgo like yeah the csgo weekend like event which is getting fifteen thousand, and it's like i get it csgo is well you know when it comes to watching on twitch like it's like one of the most popular esports, i think it's like the, 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 the second highest paid esports in like the world right now for like but here's, or some shit. so then here's my thing of that though like as much money as fifteen thousand dollars sounds like in the CSGO world, like, it's really, like, nothing. You're never going to get a pro team or, like, even a top amateur That's team. Like that's, like, a skin you know, for one of the guns that they all use. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Skins on their guns cost $15,000. So here's my thing. Because, like, the way it works is it's, true. It's, uh, it's, 30, they're, it's set to where it's, like, 32 teams for the CSGO event. So 32 teams go, can enter for this uh, $15,000 prize pool. So you do the math. It's five people, right, that are on CSGO? 5v5 yeah so what so we got so that's what 100 like 160 total people are gonna like be playing in that arena in in local host if it like you know maxes out sure you'll throw some like you know spectators and stuff like that if you threw yeah yeah but i see what you're saying if they threw 10 ground 10 grand at smash you're gonna get a lot of people going like especially even just the four corners talent wise and then like the word's gonna be out there and like we got connections but 10 grand's enough for me to tell people 10 grand's enough for me to tell people from california just like go out like people would go out for that oh dude but we're talking fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. you got panda sentence boys you got fucking everyone's being sent here for fifteen thousand. so i'm saying at the bare minimum I'm saying you'd see, you'd see like 500 people. I mean, I think that's extremely low for that kind of prize pot. Because you look at the Genesis, you look at all these other events, they're around 1,000 people, if not more. Dude, you throw $15,000 towards fucking local host. Yeah. And you're in Denver, so it's not like you're fucking at Splash and, you know, Smash and Splash in fucking Wisconsin. <laughs> you're fucking here in Denver for a $15,000 tournament. Dude, My only thing that's there's kind of so weird much there. shit could happen. Yeah, is that they don't like the money you put in doesn't matter. So like, for the, there's for not the, necessarily. 
for the tournament. So like if right. there's ten thousand, it's like first place is already set at like six thousand. You know. Right. Right. Which can be frustrating to some people because then entrants don't matter, you know? Yeah. So then True. people want to either, like, keep it hushed so they don't share it. But, like, I would even, I think, not it's even like 15000 If you do 10000 and then have the pot be, like, $10, because people are paying, what, like, 30 or whatever it is? So just take yeah, the 20 exactly. give us 10 or 5 for dubs, and then, like, so many people will You could push a higher price if you get a lot of people for yeah. entry. True. Then, like, yeah, it shouldn't be a set pot because, like you said, it – then it forces people to become either hush or there's really no incentive to try to advertise the tournament at all if it's set yeah. a lot. Well, yeah, because it would take uh, 500 people at a $30 like entry fee to cover that 15000 So, yeah, I get what you're saying on that. It's wild. I don't know. It's my I opinion. just, I, yeah. I'm supposed to chance to even like do that, which I just wish they, I, I wish they would like figure it out. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I hope Hopefully that DreamHack they... comes back at some point, but we'll see. You, we could, you would think they would, but like even here in Denver, like Call of Duty, it, Halo used to come here. We used to have Call of Duty and Halo back in the MLG days, like the the heydays, and it's like, man, nothing's came back to Denver. The last time Halo was here was back in like Halo Reach, when Halo Reach was just coming out. They they had a a tournament right before Halo Reach, uh, Reach, and like nothing's came out since. And it's like, dude, we're in Denver, man. It's like a top five city in the country right now. Dude, so I'm kind of Halo. There was no trailer for that game. No, oh, yeah, just the tiny little cinematic that was like at the end. Dude, I was so oh. into that like game cinematically though. A little off topic, oh, but I yeah. loved it. Oh yeah. That was like my jam in like high school. I was like, oh. I grinded. I used to grind Halo. I love Halo. That's like my that's that's my first didn't baby, Xbox. man. Didn't Xbox for this new Halo coming out? I have I have the Xbox. No, Christian needs to get one. Oh yeah. Hell no. What do you mean? Yeah. Hell no. Boy, shut your when, ass when, up. Just win one win one ESF and you can get Really? I don't even want to hear excuses I, from this I fucking kid. I hate when kid, people man. say that. I hate you when should, people say yeah, that. Yeah, you hate it because it's fucking true, dog. Like you don't even need no, a job. No, I have job. to pay rent. Yeah, your rent's fucking free, bud. You just play a couple of video games and boom, rent's paid. Then win Fuck, more than one that's weekend. Easy. Then, dude, if you win, if you win one weekend, that's rent. You win the second weekend, that's an Xbox. If you win a third weekend, I don't know, that's rent for the next month. You know what I mean? Like, dude, just, just don't, just don't. It's lose. just like RMR. I'm, I'm looking like we have 39 people. I'm just like, man. I was like, if I just had like a hundred, like this full pays for his rent. I was like, this motherfucker's wild. I was just looking at it. It was funny. I was like, damn. I, I could see. I can see it all. Yeah, but no, it's I mean, cool, man. I, I I think it's gonna be fun. I'm down for Halo. When Halo comes out, like fucking bet, I will be there. I already thought a nasty team would have been like Flexens, uh, beautiful, mellow and myself, but I'm open for whoever. Cause I love I'll Halo. try out. Do it. I want it. I want it. I mean, you don't you don't want that smoke on the FPS, but you could try out. <laughs> Dude, I used to be really good, I'm not gonna lie. Call of Duty, like Black Ops 2, MW3. That was Back pretty nice, day. not gonna lie. Flair will win the Arcadia. Yeah, who's Flair? Flair, oh, I always mix him and the Prey guy up. Is that the Roy? That's not the Roy. He's Is it the Wolf? I mix them up. But there is a good Roy who's solid, who I'm pretty sure his tag is Prey, but it might have switched from Flair. The same oh, okay, person. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, is, he is solid. He's not gonna win, but he is solid. He's, he's got, got he's got some he's, he's got, got some flaws pass. that he's he can't fix in a week. And he's gotta face up some heavy hitters, like we said. Yeah. Like people who get through. They're no slouches. <clears throat> and no there, slouches. So but then, there might be upsets. Well, hope I mean to AIV though. Hopefully. Okay, I will bet you that Smirk wins. How much? Yeah, oh, see, still win. We got the bets already going. Oh down. yeah, damn. Yeah, I mean it's either Smirk or Bagel, right? I mean, fuck. I, I want to. There's like, <laughs> there's like a good group of people I want to do good here. Okay. I think Bismarck will do good as well. I think Bismarck's oh, yeah. really good. Uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. I would just be surprised if it somebody won or even topped. Three, five, even. 
that I didn't, I haven't heard about. I'd almost be mad. Like someone just comes out of the shadows just yeah. to win their like $30. I'm like, do you feel good? <laughs> they disappear again. Yeah, just to <laughs> climb back into the shadows. Yeah, they, just, they, they, they get their fame when they're out. They're like, all right, won the Arcadian deuces. Hey, hey, just hey, like, X just comes out of nowhere. X just rolls up one day in his blazer. <laughs> Dude, I hear he's not that good in this game. I bet he'd lose to Smirk. I bet he would. That's what people X were telling me. That's what Best Ness said. Best Ness, we were talking. He's like, yeah, X has been going to some stuff. He just isn't good. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Best Ness. Yeah. The X. Yeah. When X first came to Colorado, it was pretty funny. <laughs> He was a are there any uh, are there any fiend. notable names for like that whole GameWorks Championship like outside of Best Ness? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Else, there's, like, there's most... like all those players are around my level or above probably. I think there Isn't might be like Fo? two that are below. Yeah, Isn't Foe's Fo one. Yeah, oh. Foe was sponsored by GameWorks for a little while. Foe's that is not really good. on the geeks. I don't know where you're getting your info, but that is not true. It's kind of like I see where you're aiming, but that's not true. No, but it's Foe, Pape. I think Ven might be in there. Um, Didn't wasn't it Ned? Pandarian. Is from, Pandarian. Is it Ned in there or somebody from the uh, from like Midwest or wherever? Like I right where? It's like Ned or whoever that that Isabel was. So I know there's somebody from the scene. Too. Boshi? Did Boshi make it? I think Boshi might have made it. Or Bushy? I don't know. I mix <laughs> those guys up. Yeah, Thanks but there's some Pandarian. solid guys going. Yeah. You know it's kind of cool. I want like my best nest to win, but there's some good guys going. I like how they're sending the uh, metal wrens out there to commentate. Are they actually? Yeah, that's, pretty... yep. that's what that's I've been told. Because because he hit me up, he's like, I'm taking the jersey. He's like, I'll be wearing it during the commentary. I was like, he's like, you coming out? I was like, bro, I work on the 29th. Otherwise, I would just drive the fuck out there. That's I awesome. Care. Utah. Utah. That's exciting. That's sweet though. Yeah, I wanted to go. I was like, damn, well, at least we'll have a, <laughs> someone from a car rep in because we'll have him. He's like, I'm wearing it during the entire commentary. I was like, shit, let's go. I'm down on that. Hell yeah. Plus, Renz, plus Renz is fucking nasty when it comes to commentary. Like, there's no doubt. The Joe guy yeah, and he, Metal he, Renz fucking is. duo. I think that's like the perfect See, I duo. like that duo because uh-huh. Smokey's like the, the calm, cool, collected, you know, play-by-play-ish. And then yeah. Renz is the loud, colorful commentator. Yeah. I but really you'd be surprised because dabs. Smokey comes out of nowhere with the color commentary. Yeah. Bro, at RMR, I could hear that fucker getting hyped in the back. I was just chilling I at know. the table and I was hearing Smokey go wild. I was like, yo, what's going on here? This dude's getting crazy. Smokey because, all about it, dude. Because at that time, uh, I didn't have middle rents, so I kind of had more of the, he had the to like, carry. lifeblood. Weren't you with the Bowser guy? Yes. Mm. Dude, yeah, it was weird. Was. He had he had like a weird following. Like there was a decent amount of people that were yeah, there just no, because he was they, commentating. The boys were there. I, was like, I Shit. noticed. So there was that, but uh, I don't know. His commentary wasn't the best, honestly. In my I didn't think it was terrible, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. the best. Yo, then, he <laughs> was so he was so uncomfortable during that post game fucking interview. Just watching his face was like priceless. I love when, it. When, 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 Yo, when, can we when, talk when, about when, that post game interview? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, this was great. yeah, let's talk about that post game because I thought that shit was fucking like. I was there. Well, yes, he's like, uh, culture sends me. He's like, did you hear what he said? I was like, no, <laughs> I wasn't listening. I'm at the table. And he's like, bro. He's like, and he sent me the clip, and I just started dying. And I was like, oh holy shit! I was like, he just did this guy that dirty, and then he's saying this shit. And as you're saying it, yeah, that that Bowser guy is just like in the center, like try <laughs> like a fake laugh. <laughs> Joe was just dying. I was dying when I started watching it i thought that was just hilarious i thought it was smokey great. was gassing me up while i was doing it too i was like okay smoke <laughs> hey, that was fucking know. hilarious man he's so, you can't shit. you can't feed in for christian you can't you can't feed into it for him because you start getting deep into it, it. He gets too deep into it dude. Deep <laughs> look at him he's still he's still sitting there i was like holy <laughs> shit i was like he just sitting there like as I he said say. he's just he just stood there i was like oh no i was like he's not lying the guy is just sitting there that was fucking dude, he was i almost legit i was almost in the mood to pick up the cam and like go over there and give like, <laughs> like, like, like for the player cam 
going on, bro? I was so confused because, like, honestly, I'm sitting there with Renz and, like, I'm watching the other people play, like, Squad Strike. But then I'd look back and, like, I see Bang Heat smokes him. Then he stands up and he starts staring down Smokey. And I was just like, oh, God. I was like, is he doing He's popping off after every fucking set. I was like, this fucking kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I actually, I wasn't popping up. I literally was changing the song. I, th- th- it was the song. Well, from the oh, from watching what behind, all I see is you'd smoke him, then you'd get up. And you'd, you'd be looking at Smokey, and I was like, oh my god. I was like, every after every one, I started dying just watching that shit. Well, he had to get his... That's it. Well, like, when he sees Smokey, he just, like, calms down. He just, like, about to pop off. And he looks at Smokey, <laughs> yeah. and Smokey's over there, calm, cool, collected, commentary, just just <laughs> doing his thing. And Christian's like, yeah, so, next song, time to go, dude. Like, it's over. Like, that, that, that's just his release. I remember when I was listening to that tournament too. I was listening uh, through the fire and the flames, so I was already kind of amped up. <laughs> I was like, "Let's go, dude!" dude what is this mi- mi- middle school guitar here? Dude, dude, this is two thousand. <laughs> this is two thousand eight. Okay, I'm on. I'm on, I'm on medium speed, and I'm killing it. Dude, medium. Dude, talk, talk about one of the dude. What a time we had. We had a Halo, dude. There was a melee out at the time. Some. Like that was when Brawl came out. You got Guitar Hero, COD, dude. Damn. That was a spoiled a time. time of video. Spoiled time of video. Yeah, they don't dude. just release stuff like that. Yeah, now no. they have new. They have they have bullshit as Guitar Hero that like up and down arrows now. Yeah. It's, it's not that kinda, bad. Kinda, it's not that yeah, bad. It's whack shit. Yeah, it's, it's some whack. Yeah, shit. Careful, careful. Smokey's been playing a lot of Guitar Hero lately. You don't want to be hey, talking. I, to I, yeah, I, I play the old whack shit. I play the old school. Smokey Ooh. would be the type of Smokey be the type of guy to play the of my friend. Wait, what? And I'm the expert, yo. You broke up with me. You broke up and you said it. Yeah, you broke up hard. I said you'd be, you be the guy to be playing the little folk songs on brand new guitar. <laughs> the folk songs? Yeah, <laughs> dude. dude you know, <laughs> like Country Road. I, I, I want Country know. Road. No, no, Take dude, me home. Don't, don't, don't you I'm hate on John Denver like that, dude? Bob dude, that's a great like, song. John Denver's. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about the stuff you see, like, like the little like hippie girls in 2019 at the little festivals, like singing. Some, some you know, little flowers. Yeah, the little the little flowers in their hair and shit. You know, if I had hair, I'd show. I'm down. Right here, bro. They have a they have a guaranteed ankle tattoo. It's guaranteed. Why, why not? I'm down. This sounds. This, this, yeah. this, this dude goes yeah. to work. He's like, yeah. He's like, did you tune into the stream? I was like, no. Nah. He's like, guess what I was playing? I was like, whoa. He's like, guitar hero. He's playing Nuzlocke. I was like, wow. Well, I was like, I'm glad I didn't fucking tune into the stream. Man. Shit. Nuzlocke Pokemon, dude. <laughs> Pokemon, dude. <laughs> oh, damn. What? He's calling it. Damn, bro. Hey, you spoke. tell me? You Culture is going out. I did. I did, I think. Did I? I'm pretty sure oh, I no. did. We, we've already been through this. Or you weren't there. When it comes to like it being choppy, like, yeah, Chris ain't going to fucking tell you. He'll just let you suffer <laughs> yeah. for a little bit. All right. Well, speaking, of, speaking about games, and we're talking what? about Nintendo and what Joe guys streams, mm-hmm. when are we doing a legit, and I mean, like, not like, hey, let's just play some Mario Kart. When are we doing like a legit ten dollar buy in Mario Kart online tournament? Um, I don't know if you've been like paying attention to Discord, but like I've been all know, about been, it. I'm I'm ready to attention. fucking do this. I'm ready to throw hey, some dude. hands. I'm hey, ready dude, to steal have... your money. I'm ready for let's, whatever y'all want to do. Let's tell me when it's a real Mario Kart, and then we'll talk. Oh he damn! Yeah, he, sorry, he likes oh. double dash. He he thinks he's high high road over here. It's like me. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna leave it. Let's do can adapt or whatever. It's all good. <laughs> New yeah. tech. No adaption, dude. Bro, I'd adapt, rather, dude. dude, why don't we play Mario Kart dude. Wii? Deal. Deal. I'll <laughs> grade that one too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, my, 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 Wii, my Wii holds up my, my TV downstairs, dude. Play like, I, I, would do, I would do the Super Nintendo one, I'd do Double Dash, and I'd do the Wii one. Yeah. And I would smoke you. But not oh, wait. But, but not, not the new one that actually fucking matters, right? Okay, cool. That's that sucks. All right, well, that's like, like we're not playing with culture. Looks like we're not playing with Christian. Well, I don't that's... even own a Switch, so. Yeah, we got... Dick, have you ever won a tournament <laughs> for Mario Kart? No, I haven't been I've on the won a tournament. I haven't been on the Mario I've Kart scene lately. Like, when was what, this? What game was it? He won Double, Double Dash. Dash tournament. What with, year? He won a, what year he won was it with been? The... He won it with the Mexicans and those guys. It's not a real tournament. That was like a year and a half ago, two years. No, there was a lot of people there. I smoked them. Yeah. Not a real tournament. It's I'm a, a gas friends. A gas 
where you bet on Mario Kart. Dude, they but, gave me like it was like a decent prize. I got like uh, like fifty bucks or something to the store. I got like Wind Waker, the new edition. It was like pretty chill, and like Donkey Kong too. I think. Ooh. Oh, that's so, a cool fucking story. So what all I heard was you can't oh, fucking oh. play this one because you're trash. So all I know is that you're just lucky I wasn't sponsored by you at the time, okay? Because there was a lot of people there, three thousand viewers, three thousand <laughs> on the double test three, three thousand viewers. <laughs> damn, Nick. Can somebody okay. fact check this shit? So, I don't even know what to believe anymore. I mean, got some CNN what, going what, on here. We got to get that fake news bullshit out of last, here. Last time I heard, last time I heard the story, there was a thousand people on the Twitch. Oh, it, keep, it keeps growing. Oh, <laughs> Lord, last Lord. time there was a thousand Dude, people. On there's the about like give or take four or five thousand. <laughs> so so he won't be in for that ten dollars that is what i'm what i'm getting at. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm getting so we got what joe guy beautiful myself hitman will be down champ Wait, our, our man gibby. our man champ will throw 10 Wait, maybe gibby we gibby yeah we need to get like a random game tournament where everyone's in and we pick well let's do like a, let's do like a game that's cross play are we still down to do summit like our own summit. Yes, that's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm Game still Works. Down Game that. Works actually did that. Smokey. It was a random game, and they just like pulled it out, and it was like mm-hmm. a bunch of stuff. It was crazy. Yeah. I'd be down. I'm still down to do that. I like. I like that idea. With all of, if we could get online, then all of Akara, that'd be nice. Yo, yeah, like did a Whoa. do a crossplay game that has cross platform or some shit like that. I mean, well, that shit was wild. They had stuff from like PCs. the like a p like a PCP or whatever it was. They had some stuff there. They had like Roblox or whatever it was. Whoa, was like, oh wait, time out. Did you say PCP? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like really sure that's. Dude, like, like, a dude I'm telling you. Drug, dude. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> it was like the wait PSP PSP. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you that PCP Man, is on the angel dust. Damn, bro. God, the PCP is wild. That game was nuts. Yeah. No wonder they kick your asses out early, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, no wonder they get ready to play grand finals. They're like, get the fuck out of here. These dudes are on too hard. Oh my. I hop down. Hey, sp- speaking hop. of this whole like summit game I hop. thing we got going on. So all of us in here, right before I left Colorado, we all played Mafia. Yeah, dude, Mafia is sick. Great game that that Warlord was like the card game. It was my first time. I had a hard time getting into it. Okay, get your plug in, bud. Say you're sick. Go, go, go for it. No, no, no. Okay, well, I am sick. That's that's. We all know that. I don't need to say it. Anyway, (laughs) what about when? When are we gonna play? Not even the Mario Kart. I'm more worried about. Put thirty dollars on Town of Salem, the mafia game we can play on our computers. Oh, yeah, you said there's. Why would you put money on that? Because I'm (laughs) free. Sorry, all of the cards. Are you are you are you new to tournaments here? I'm gonna put money in so we can win, dude. (laughs) Dude, but that's random. You guys are you new to tournaments? (laughs) That's like putting money on goldfish. Dude, no, no, no. Does all of town win? Huh? Does all of town win money? Even if you die. Yeah, no, how no, does there's, that there's work a, though? I, there's a way. There's a way you can do it. Like I have like a sheet that I'll send in the Discord. But like it's like if uh, if you guess right, if you're guessing right on certain turn, like if, if you guess right on the turn, like hey, I think uh, Christian's Mafia, and I've said that in a couple turns over, you get points at the end. Whoever has the most points, and like if you if you're Mafia and you win, you get five points, and shit. Whoever has the most points at the end of the like the night or the end of the games wins and takes the money. So like, there's a sheet, there's a way to do it. I mean, as long as you have that. I'm down. I mean, I'm down for anything, man. I like to get all the car boys. Or, and play or some I'm down. To, I'm just down to hear all the a car guys in Discord screaming about who's the killer. That's yeah. all I want to hear. <laughs> you got, you got, you got, you got champ join us on this. You got champ oh, yelling geez. at poor. You got champ yelling at poor Lewis across. The, Can we get like a sensor button for champ? <laughs> of course, we'd have to. We'd delay it. Yeah, yeah. server. They way. kick us off the air. <laughs> they kick us off the air. What the fuck is Pixelmon? It's, it's like, like it's Pokemon, Pokemon Minecraft, isn't it? That's, that's, that sounds like some goddamn Digimon and Pokemon together. Yeah. <laughs> second uh, second rate, dude. Like. Your all right, all right. <laughs> 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 you're just, just serious. 
Hey, they ask. <laughs> hey, were, hey, were, were y'all a Pokemon or a Yu-Gi-Oh guy? So I, just, there, I feel like there's only like Pokemon. two. Pokemon. I was both. Pokemon. You can't be both. Yeah, dude, I was you, both. You, you could easily be both, bro. Come no, on. you could easily no, be both. If I, you if I said right now, if we're talking right like, now, are we talking like card people. game or like show? No, we're just all, gonna kill off around. the other franchise. The yeah, okay. If if we if you had to kill off one of the franchises, uh, I think Yu-Gi-Oh. As a kid, uh, I was more excited to watch Yu-Gi-Oh than I was to watch Pokemon. Oh I'll be honest. Kind of yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a better show. But the it wasn't like a better. I'm saying I'm franchise. saying franchise though. I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about like card game because they both had card games. Were they both video games? <laughs> I never. Yu-Gi-Oh had some video games, games, believe it or not. I didn't get into the Pokemon. I I played the game, but I never got into the hype, man. Like I had too much shit going on. To... Bro, you're telling me you didn't like to roll around with Bulbasaur, dude? Bulbasaur? No. I think Pokemon <laughs> games are better, but the Yu-Gi-Oh show is better. If that makes any sense. So like counter I don't argument. know. Counter counter argument. Oh, Did you watch the oh, first Pokemon movie where where the Pikachu's oh, were slapping oh. each other and Ash is sitting there in stone and you didn't cry? And you're not gonna tell me that's not the best movie? animated you've ever seen yeah i've never seen it pika pika Pika. yeah he just doesn't want to fight they don't want to fight fight. and ash is sitting there all in stone yeah come on when when did that come out like what year is it 2000 fucking 2001 when nick was in high school his old ass 2001 (laughs) are you fucking crack kid come on man Dude, Nick was like weed. 14 there. I was yeah. 2001. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? God damn. Yeah. That's insane. The disrespect. No, you were like, you were like 12, bro. It's so different. <laughs> I still wasn't 12. What? On, like he's bro. doing the math. Right. Yeah, I was doing the math. I was like, wait, no, I was not. Hold on. Fuck. How I old were you this. actually? Okay. Where, where were you when the Twin Towers fell? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Nope. Wait, like okay, you are fast. Your elementary school, like, are you old enough to remember it? I don't remember yeah. it. I remember it. I remember it like it was, dude. I remember the whole Twin Towers like it was I nothing. Mean that, like, a, I don't, okay, I didn't mean that like an insensitive question. Like, no, that's gee, one of those things. Remember. No, it's just like you ask your parents, if your parents are old enough to remember like JF, like the JFK shit or whatever, bro. Like, everybody like remembers where they were that day. I totally, I was at school. And I remember getting home, my parents re- were remodeling my mom's, like, my mom and dad slept in, like, different rooms, so they both snored. So, like, they were remodeling my mom's room, and, like, yeah, dude, I remember, like, it was, I remember exactly how that all, you know, went. That shit was wild. I don't think I'll ever, like, forget that day, like, ever. That's wild, because so, no, I was, was elementary school too young to remember that. Yeah, so, I, Christian took that the wrong way. He had to go outside, you know. I, I don't know. It just came off. It's it's it sounded bad. No, like, when I say it, yeah, I said no it. And I was like, <laughs> no, I don't, no I learning. I knew ex- I knew exactly what you were saying though. No, I knew exactly what you were saying. I was like, no, I I remember when I was because I was I was like three it's, and a half, maybe four. Well, it's half, like so I don't remember. It. How do you? Yeah, you see, I don't remember that either. Because yeah. another well, another thing like that is if you ask Colorado people, like, do you remember where you were when Columbine happened? Sandy it's like Hood, yeah. Columbine. I can exactly tell you where I was when Columbine dudes, they put our whole fucking school on lock because we were like, I don't know, a few miles away from Columbine. So yeah, I like, I'll always remember where I was for Columbine and I'll always remember where I was for like, yeah, 9-11. Those are always going to be like engraved in my head. So yeah, no, but I know what you were saying. <laughs> that <shit> was... Yeah, <laughs> they were they were laughing. They, were, they started laughing. I was like, "Holy shit!" No, it was just the way it was said. It was just out of nowhere, dude. It was just too out of nowhere. I had a, like, I had did Caden calm down? Like... Did did Caden relax? <laughs> it was just out of the blue. That shit was it caught wild. me off guard. That's all right. <laughs> I was like, damn, this dude's Christ. trying to get my age based off the fucking nine yeah. eleven. Like, <laughs> actual question though. Like, dude, like, yeah, that's what I was so confused no. about. Okay. He was just like, hey, no. how old are you? He's like, wait. I was like, oh my god. No. Boy, yeah. well, do the math. No, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll always remember that day, and then like Columbine. Like I'll always remember like where I was for those two days, like Columbine and nine eleven. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a good way to. We were talking about find Pokemon. someone's age. Well, yeah, well, that was, it's an interesting just question. Just talking about Squirtle. Yeah, Christian Squirtle really was talking about like, hey. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And then... What? Hey, where were you when the Fire Nation attacked, dude? <laughs> okay, that's a good question. 
That's a good question. Yeah. I was, I, I don't even remember. I was chilling with my, my air tribe, and then everyone was killed. <laughs> oh, so you're the, you're the avatar. I wouldn't say that I'm the avatar. I'd just say that I'm not not the avatar. Do you the know avatar. Do you know <laughs> the avatar? The avatar, and you haven't been seen in the same area. All I'm all I'm gonna say is that I have a lot to learn. <laughs> well, I was before wondering. I can save anyone. I was wondering when this podcast was gonna start fucking like shooting in different directions <laughs> like they all do. <laughs> it's just like... It happened at a later point. It did. Dude. It it took a while for that to actually happen, so that's good. But I believe no, I... that I can save the world. Oh shit. <laughs> well, anyway. dude, dude, you like, thought about it, dude. Whoa, whoa, does that mean like that mean Tusk and Smokey are your uh was it? What are their names again? I don't know. I'm not. I'm Sokka. not name Sokka. And Katara. Dude, I do yeah. have Sokka's haircut. Are you? Are you the you water bender or the boomerang guy? He's the boomerang guy. I would definitely be. And little little Tusk is the the water bender. Good for him, yo. Dude. That him. that's him that's go. like my that's that's the sexual interest. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go ahead and the, the veto that bender. one. <laughs> yeah. No, what the fuck? Yeah. The best comparison is. I don't know. I can't be Sokka. I'm, Hell yeah, you can't, dude. Look at you, dude, with your beautiful ass hair, dude. You're, you're chilling, dude. Can't be Sokka. I, I gotta be Sokka. Guys, Caden's getting a little oh, out of no. control. No, I don't even know what the fuck y'all are talking about. So Bro, Zane, fuck you. I'm just Zane's sitting here like, Yeah, I don't even know. There needs to be like Iro some... and Bangs, the... Dude, the... Uncle Iroh? Yeah, you're the Zuko, you're, you're Chris. Zuko. This is where you know when we're talking about Smash Kids and shit. This is that kind of shit I'm talking about, bro. They're a bunch of fucking. You haven't watched Avatar, dude. No, Avatar's God, like the a, most. Like, show. Right, I don't, I don't give a care fuck about are. Avatar. I don't, I don't care who you are. I, I honestly even, thought where, where I, you, but like, I honestly couldn't get into Avatar when I was a kid. So it's, wait, it's so good. I, I don't know, doing. man. I just I like it came out in that time period where I just like didn't give a fuck about cartoons anymore. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. You, dude, you're super edgy. Hey, did anybody tell you you're super edgy, dude? Like, yo, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't oh, give a man. fuck about cartoons no more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude bro. doesn't give a fuck about cartoons no more. Yeah, bro, fuck, dude. get out of here. Sound like that. I didn't mean for it Edgy, like yo. Do you, hey, bro, oh. hey, did you start, did you start wearing black, too, and listen to My Chemical Romance? Or what? He still does, okay? <laughs> My Chemical Romance. Romance is overrated. How right. right. When you woke up and decided that, that you <laughs> what? were just like, I'm done with cartoons. Everybody oh, got offended by that. But what? When I was like, I was like, uh, like. 10, 11? Bro, I don't know. 10 years no, old. No, no. <laughs> this kid is edgy as fuck, bro. I, there's a lot of shit I could throw on this dude right now. I remember bro, I was 10 like, years old, I'm eating goddamn cocoa pebbles at fucking seven. I remember hours. telling, I remember <laughs> telling this dude, I was like, he's like, well, wait, did you cry? I was like, yeah, dude, that shit was hella sad. Yeah, I haven't cried since I was like five or six. <laughs> I was like, wait, oh, really? what? I was like, oh wow, you're one of those fucking kids. Okay, okay, bud, whatever you say. Like, you're just some dried up. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. That was forever <laughs> ago, guys. bro. He's one of those kids. He like, gets yeah, stuff in his eye. Nothing fuck, comes. don't cry. <laughs> no Jeez, cartoons. Dude. No crying. He's one of those dudes. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Damn, Christian, so, before we get too fucking wild, you got football this year, right? Is this, is this your last year of football? This is it. This is... You're going to... The last hoorah. The last hoorah. And then what Looking comes after football? Looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Well, oh, so I know you enjoy football. You yeah. graduate, all that good stuff. But yeah. then what's the future after fucking football? Oh, that's tough. I really yeah. don't know. I mean, Just like ideally... Yikes. <laughs> I, ideally, I'm going to be playing... And traveling a lot more when it comes to Smash, for sure. It's always kind of something I've wanted to do. It's just, there is moving pieces, but without football out of the way, I have so much free time that it's like, holy crap. I mean, obviously, i got to find a job like a big boy, but I might take a little bit and, who knows, go on some Smash trips. Like you say, we'll take it on tour, do some shit. Sounds like fun. I mean, it sounds like, That's what I've been waiting for, man. Sounds like shit. Like, I'd be down to fucking, like, let's just go. (laughs) 
This man, Nick, yep. said he wants Sounds to pedal awesome. you around the country, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, but I'm being, I'm dead serious when I say that because it's like I, you know, I'll live my smash days through this kid. Because <laughs> fucking mm-hmm. Christ, I want, yeah. I want to go. Well, I want to go to some of these events. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And like, I've talked to this with like Hitman and other people. I was like, how cool would it be just to like every event where we can actually have a decent amount of like a car people go even guys like don't even play so like for instance we're talking about evo and like a bunch of you kind of have like evo. a like a couple people and on nobody the media plays. Team, like doing yeah. like camera <laughs> work and shit yeah yeah it's i know like, I'd, so I'd like cool to document to, like... this shit yeah that shit would be sick i'm totally down do the akara documentary with the car summit dude we got like the plan laid out look at that yeah. Dude, yo, that could def- that could be like the first episode of that shit, or like Akibara, like the second one. Dude, that'd be wild. Well, like Nick, I'm buying a camera. The camera. Oh, I'm buying like a nice I camera mean, just for like now that we have Akibara, like I'm buying a nice camera just so I can actually document it. You know, you know, you can give me the fuck around and make a nice little like edit on it. Oh, there's no doubt. Well, like wild. I said, like, it's gonna be this great, year, twenty nineteen's been like the year where we're actually, you know. All these things that we've been envisioning, or that I've been envisioning, is like finally come into a to a sense where it's like, dude, fucking hell, we can make all this happen for the most part. So there's no doubt. Yeah. Like I've been waiting for Bang for fucking ever. You know, we we had Shoe and stuff. I was like, man, I want to get Bang out there. I want to see Bang and Genesis because you know, like, I already, you know, you're going to be one of those top placers. And I just want to actually see it. You know, we want to get it going. Like. Yeah, I mean, when I start getting, like, a solid schedule going, like, out of state, I feel, and, like, I'm actually trying, which is something I've been wanting to do even longer than you've wanted me to do it, but, uh... Yeah, that's, I would hope yeah, so. Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good question. Uh, Bang, what got you into competitive gaming? Ooh. Because you, you had to start, I mean, what, what got you going? Because, I mean, everyone comes out of nowhere mm. eventually to, like, you know, start off casual, and then, what, you just became a god overnight, or how to work? So I've always liked Smash as a game, uh, and the one I played the most was actually Brawl, and I played a lot of it, and I was better than my brothers, but they were solid. Um, but that always be like the game that I kept returning to was just mm-hmm. Brawl and Brawl and Brawl. And uh, one day I was just on YouTube, and like I got like a a video popped up, and it was like Mango, at like the big house, maybe Genesis, one of those two. Mm-hmm. And I was watching him play, and I was like, "Oh my god, they like have tournaments for these." I was like, "That's some nerdy ass shit right there." But, but I like watched it, and then I remember they went over like the amount of money that they like would win at these things, and like I heard like the name or the number like twenty grand, like, and I was like, "You you can make that much money?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm like the best person I know at this damn game," <laughs> and I was like, "I think I'm really good," so like I'm gonna go do it. I went to my first tournament, which is funny because Andy was actually the first person I was in contact with in the Smash scene. <laughs> um, and uh, I had never played. I didn't even understand that there was a difference between the Smash games. I thought they were like the same thing, just like newer. But I honestly, I knew nothing. So uh, I went to the first one, and I ended up picking Diddy because he was the easiest out of my three first picks, which were Fox, Sheik, and Diddy. And then I was like, I'm either going to get completely destroyed or I'm going to win this thing. And I didn't get destroyed and I didn't win. So I was like right in the middle. And I was like, I was like, I feel like I could do something. Like when I was losing, it was frustrating because it felt like I didn't even have that ability yet. Mm -hmm. But then after like looking at some videos and like buying the system, because I like was like, you know, I'll fork over $300 because I think I could profit off of this. And then from there, I just trained, and the rest is history. Ended up being a good decision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that $300 investment paid out pretty damn good. <laughs> damn, dude. Yeah. And now you're here. That's, that's a nice way to get into a competitive $300 investment and actually seeing it pay off. Yeah. Because I was like, it felt dumb at the time. And I remember my mom told me, because this is when I was going to community college, so I hadn't met Caden yet. Uh, I just, honestly, maybe the week after I went to that tournament, I posted on Facebook, and that's where I went Smokey. And we started, he was my first training partner. Um, But I remember my mom was talking to me. She's like, you know, I don't like you gambling at these things. And then once I got good, she was like, and I told her that guy I was winning money and stuff. She was like, you know, I think this is good for you. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So the mom, be, the mom was supportive. That's dope. She that thought was it was cool. gambling, but now she's like, "Yeah, I get it." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> you can make the money." Yeah, it's not exactly gambling. Like the Arcadian's yeah. gonna be. Yeah, the uh, Arcadian <laughs> betting day. It's betting day. It's Dude, betting day. I don't, I don't know if I'm even gonna go. Yeah, I'll probably go there. I'll take some Just money. Like, I need to learn whatever the betting call signs are. We run in the books. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, that's why like Evo is my favorite fucking event. <laughs> it's like oh, in Vegas, degenerate. Betting in tournaments is awesome. We should run some. Dude, Evo. <laughs> Kaden, are you yeah. going to Evo, bro? Dude, Vegas is four hours from me. That's not far. Are, are you going? That sounds like a no. <laughs> I don't know. July, July twenty fourth. I find out if I get in the sheriff's apartment or not. So I'll let you know after that day. Don't you have to sign up before that? What? Well, I would I would just go to go. Did oh. you have to go to, like, the police academy and shit? Yeah, police academy. I find out if I get in the academy in January, on July 24th. That's where I go, Dude. backgrounds and all that shit. Damn, I'm going to feel like a dick because of, like, if you're in... I'm going to be like, man... Kind of hope this like postpone this academy, bro. <laughs> I'm like, want to go to Vegas, but it's like, no. Nah. Yeah, but so, like, okay. You need that real life shit but to here, pay off. But but here, here's like the so here's the trade off. If I don't go to Evo, and I get this banging ass job with the sheriff's permit, that's the faster that's I can name. get my own place in LA, and the faster I can host a summit at my house in LA. Oh my god. For the Akara guys. So there's Damn. like it's like it works out both ways. Like, come on. I'm down. You down? All I know yeah. is that I partnered Nick and Caden up, and I couldn't be more proud of my decision. <laughs> that yeah. is very true. That is very I true. Sent, I sent Nick a huge typoed ass DM on Twitter, and like in New York, <laughs> I was in New York at the time on a trip with my little brother, and he Nick and Chris is like DM him. Oh, you, you I broke did. up? I told him. Or for me, I you called him though. I say, I, say <laughs> I was on. The, I was literally in. I was literally in, in Central Park. Drinking like, like a fucking like cranberry vodka with my dad and Christian <laughs> like and Christian Christian's on like I'm on Messenger like audio Christian and Christian's like all right you get to DM him so like here's the game plan and then so now here we are it's all history because, dude it's in the book that's that's when I did like the whole like so I wanted the team to grow so I started telling people like if you have if you have another person that you think would fit in with this team. And if it would make you like, it make you feel more comfortable. I, that's what I was telling most of the people, you know, like, so I wanted to get more content going. That. What you didn't get to that? You just you just brought him on just to bring him on. That was a good choice. Well, I saw you posted about wanting people, and I was like, how about my fucking boy? And I was like, who the oh, fuck's man. your boy? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was my training partner in Greeley. I was like, okay, who the fuck is this kid? <laughs> 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 Well, dude, it shows right here, like, wherever my name is down here, Bang's not Bang's a boy fan. Even then, even that's a joke. Even that's a dude. I'm literally, I met Christian at this one tournament, my first tournament. I had a shoulder surgery. That was my shoulder surgery. Yeah. Baseball. And Christian shows us this tournament, him and Jesus and Fabian. And at the time, I thought they were all dickheads. I was like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> Fucking these douchebags. And I'm getting all mad at these guys walking in there. Damn, like, does everybody have that first impression of these kids? Because I was the exact same fucking right, way. Well, well, no, no, I was talking about Christian, too. I was all three of them. I'll be honest. <laughs> no, that's what I'm them. saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, I didn't like all three of these motherfuckers to begin with. I didn't they, like they, any of them. No, I'm just kidding. They, like ended up, they ended up being super cool. And I was wearing, like, my baseball. <laughs> I talked to Christian for a little bit. And, dude, we were literally, literally the next day, I'm getting out of class. And I see Christian in the parking lot. He's like, yo, like, you got the tournament of shit. And I was like, yeah, dude, like. What's up? And, he's like, and I was like, oh, you're insane, right? <laughs> and like, we were talking, and, and he was like, hey, he's like, add me on Facebook. Let's play sometime. And then, like, we Aww. played. And then we played, like, every day for, like, an entire, like, six or seven months. And then three years later, here I am, giving Damn. him Falco and stuff. Damn. <laughs> Akara Hitman. Akara Hitman asks, who's the toughest competitor you face so far, Bang? <laughs> Probably Caden. Um... <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, um, my pit, my pit, his pit, damn, my pit. I mean, I, I faced the best in Smash Four, so I would say zero. But 
it's weird because I remember that was the closest I felt to being like really, really good was when I fought Zero in Salem. Mm-hmm. That dream but, pack, right? um, Yeah. But I would say like it's weird, like Bestness and like JK, if you guys remember who that is, the whole yeah. car scandal thing. They, they've always been able to like stuff me out. Not best Ness as much, but I remember with JK, it was just really hard to fight him. But with Zero, I feel like I'm just like a worse version of what he's trying to do. Like he's really smart. He has a game plan, but he adapts on the fly. And I feel like a lot of the time, sometimes my adaption just brings me back in circles. And that's when these people get me. But Zero was really, really good. Like it just felt like you were facing a vacuum that like wouldn't stop. And like mm-hmm. he's he's really good. Did take a game though, and I still firmly believe that I could have even taken the set. Mm-hmm. But on game four, I still remember this. We were on Smashville, and I threw him off the stage, and I barely missed time to regular get up for nerves or whatever reason. But I fucked up, and then I lost. <laughs> I had momentum, man. I was feeling it. Dude, you're pretty close. That was a exciting ass game, dude. Those yeah. are exciting. Yeah, that's why we needed another event to get yeah. a lot of big players. But dude, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, even with this little minor, we got a local host. Like, we can't even get the number ones in each fucking state to get down here. Like, we'll get best yeah. for I take it back. The the first one we had bestness in AZ, but like it was that's kind of all it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> There's like yeah. audiences. It'd be nice to get like a bunch of people, man. Get like a nice big event, but hopefully we got time. Well, maybe we'll see. <laughs> so what else, man? You guys got any questions or any topic suggestions? Mm-hmm. Are we gonna do get cultured, dude? How is, it is that, that cultured, dude? Is it's cultured, that... cultured or some something. <laughs> Well, I mean, we have it's been going on for like an almost hour and a half, so like we are around that that get culture okay. time. All right, Damn. you want to do get cultured? Well, all right. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we so we're yeah we're probably gonna get culture for a little bit here because I know Joe said he had something that he he thought he had a good topic. So Chris, you first. What is your original get cultured? Like, what are you what are you thinking for today? Yeah. Okay. So, like, this is gonna be completely off topic, obviously, because like I don't because I don't like I'm not a Smash like like player. I don't really know shit about Smash, so I'll just like go ahead and say. But like, okay. roster mania for Call of Duty is going on right now for the CWA, oh, right? Right. Man, didn't you do, you did this last time too? Okay. No, well, but like get shit's getting more finalized. Get shit's getting more finalized. All right. LG just announced right. their new roster of and formal Brack, Caesar Skies, John, and Ricky as the coach. So they did get rid of Gunless. Like 100%. Okay, so Gunless isn't part pretty, of the team. Pretty trash. I, okay. Do you think it's trash? Why? I, I just don't. That's. No, there's no wow factor there. Skies is like one of the best I, ICRs in the fucking game. Like, he was just like held back by playing on, with shitty teammates on Elevate. Mm-hmm. Brack's nasty that, as fuck. That, sound, that sounds familiar. I mean, he has to suck. I mean, because that sounds like kind of Hugh almost. All right, anyway, get, get you going. Transfer to Splice. That's what from I heard. Envy. From Envy. Yeah, but for, um, so, so then who's the Splice roster then? They haven't announced it yet. Okay. It's still, it's still like, you know, sources type shit. Um, okay. apparently Envy is in complete fucking shambles. Like, apparently it's completely fucked. Like, actually fucked. Since Hook doesn't want on the team, nobody wants, uh, apparently, like, nobody wants to play with, like, Aches or Silly. But, like, Envy's not gonna get rid of Aches or Silly. So, that's all fucked, which is stupid as shit. I don't know why you'd allow... I don't know why you'd allow that to happen. Like, allow Hook to go somewhere else instead of picking up a better team. Because you know Hastro has the money. Unless he's just not trying to spend it yet until franchising comes around. But I think that's mad stupid. Um. Yeah, I don't know. That wasn't really that great. Yeah. All right, Joe, what do you Joe, got? Joe, what's my... Culture? What's my... That was pretty fucking... Yeah. I was falling asleep just listening to this shit. <laughs> and I'm a college player. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> This what, culture Jeff? segment sucks. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I was hoping there was going to be some funny shit. I didn't even go back. I don't know. I... Okay. All right. Fuck Get you, man. 
What's your favorite uh, Michael Myers movie? There's more than one. And doesn't just <laughs> <the same girl? laughs> Wait, why? Why the Michael actor. Myers? Oh, Mike Myers. oh, like oh, the actor Mike Myers, not like the Halloween. Yeah. Okay, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, um, shit. They're talking about the, the stabbing one, like oh. the Halloween. Oh, movie. I see what you're getting That's what at. I thought he was talking but about it's too. it's the cat in the hat. 100. Like percent I like the cat in the hat. But oh, it's, it's Shrek. It's a second. Yo, yeah. yeah, Shrek. Yo. Don't Whoa. get. It. That is like, <laughs> I knew you. I knew what you were getting at. Get out, and I'm not. Get, I'm not getting. I'm not getting tricked weird. into that. I'm not getting Yo, tricked into that. If we're being serious, though, on Michael Myers movies, it has to be uh, yeah, Austin yeah, Powers. Us. Oh, oh, that's true. Powers. Which that's Austin true. Powers movie? Are we oh, talking? bro, dude, Gold Member. Gold Member. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent Gold sure. Member. If it's not Shrek, I mean, I don't know how to say this, but you're wrong. <laughs> Shrek one and two are good. The rest suck. <laughs> which one? Which one is the where he says "Do the roar"? Which the one worst that? movie in the entire franchise, like the last but one. But the best line. <laughs> the best line. The be- The best minute and thirty seconds I've ever watched. I feel Wait, he did. It, he did it in Glorious Bastards. <laughs> Who? He didn't do glorious. Mike Myers. Oh yeah, he was in glorious bastard. Doing I what? I thought Mike Myers. I was... looked it up. He's on. I'm pretty the... sure he like. I'm pretty sure he was like the, the dude that was like uh, the the producer of that uh, the movie, the Hitler movie. Oh. The one that like, produced that the Hitler movie, movie. In, in Glorious Bastards. Remember, like they're showing that movie that the club where they burned everybody down or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. That's a wild thing did to y'all not wa- did, did y'all not watch Inglourious Bastards? I, it, yeah, I mean, I, it's been I a minute. Sleep and woke up a couple of times. And it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a long ass movie. It's a boring ass okay. movie. Don't talk. What's your deal over here? What? Great, critically acclaimed, dude. Top Ooh, critically line. fucking boring. Like just the fucking beginning. <laughs> it's like, bro, like, what are we doing here? Drinking fucking milk, like yeah. do something. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of all time, Caden? Dude, my favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Shit. Ooh. Can you like just bro, give give him Step a top Brothers. two. Are you, are you joking? Are you... Step Brothers. That's not oh, even a question. Step Brothers. I thought, oh, I thought it was gonna be some Step real movies, no. not like. Oh, like oh, if, we're, if we're talking about like if we're talking like a real like serious movie. Honestly, Lord of dude. The Rings. Oh, yeah, probably Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Oh. Two Towers. Bro, I knew I liked y'all, dog. Like, what's Two Towers. Lord of, the, Lord of the Rings Two Towers is one of the Hell best. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, I'm down. I am so happy right now. That Either the they're Hobbit, good, but they're so Lord hard for me to, like, sit and watch through, man. They're so or long. The, or The Hobbit, dude. Okay, The Hobbit. Oh, when... no. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. I'm listening. When, when the dwarves are sitting in, in the Lonely Mountain, when they're, when they're sitting in there and they're all getting surrounded and the dude comes through with the big-ass giant bell and the big dude got the fucking huge-ass horn, bro, that shit got me goosebumps. Dude. I'm about to be crying. They're like, to the king. And I was like, fucking yeah, to the king, dude. Yeah, fucking, fucking, the fucking eight, king, little, yeah. eight little dwarves just go and smoke every... Man, no, dude. I don't know, man. I... I was I'm a, I'm an OG Lord of the Rings. I didn't like Lord of the Rings. Is, Lord of the Rings is like you can never go if somebody like you can't go wrong with Lord of the Rings, ever. You can't. That, there will never be a time where watching Lord of the Rings is a bad idea. All right, what's better, Harry Potter or Star Wars? Star Wars. Harry Star but Wars. But early Star I'm on, Wars. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on Harry. I'm on Harry. Three. Harry well, Potter. Two two. Two. The second Star Wars, trilogy. Yeah, I'm decide this. I'm Star Wars is one of the lamest. Yo, but the Phantom Menace is actually good. Watch. Okay. This one's Harry Potter. This one's Star Wars. And the winner, Harry Potter. What? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Bro, Harry yeah. Potter is so fucking boring, dude. You're boring. Oh, yeah. I'm Star sorry. Wars is so fucking entertaining. That, forget the it's fuck like out of The movie. original trilogy. Dude, even the newer trilogy is good, dude. Don't fuck with me. The newer like, one? Wanna... Oh, the newer one is not like the new. Not like, not like, no, 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 no. Not like the new shit. Not like the new ones like that are coming Anakin out for Skywalker? Disney. Liquid yeah, garbage. Anakin. The Anakin era. Those are good. Okay. I'll admit the Anakin era was dope, but like the original Star Wars, I think is hot garbage. What? That's what? garbage. It's not. It's like it's so lame. It's boring. It's not even like oh, but it's old nostalgia. It's like nah, it no, it just sucks. Nah, I have to hardcore disagree, dude. I still like Star so Wars. Good. Don't get me wrong. No, I, I just think Harry Potter is really, really good. 
I mean, but like, I, I admit, see, I still like Harry Potter, but Star Wars. Well, after like the Prisoner of Azkaban, bro, it was just like, games. okay, I got it. Like, it was like, I don't know. You got Dude. what? The story's not over. Yeah, the it's, they got, it was like, okay, it's that's boring. Like saying, that's like saying after episode six, you didn't need to see one through three. Oh, uh, didn't like yeah. Rowling say like Harry's kind of bisexual or some shit? I know she's been doing a lot of that. No, it was shit. Gandalf. Gandalf's gay. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's the shit that maybe start like not liking about like, Harry Dumb- Potter. I'm like she's Dumbledore. adding all these. We're just adding all this bullshit. Did I say Dumbledore. Gandalf? No, yeah, you said Gandalf, dude. Dumbledore's gay or some shit. Uh, his buddy. I'm pretty sure Gandalf's also gay, so. <laughs> the character that plays him is pretty, pretty sure, sure. like okay yeah you got, you that got was just funny some... dumble whore <laughs> damn all right so let's let's uh, what keep I... it going then so joe favorite favorite movie i'll say your favorite two movies like your, your top favorite two movies bro. two movies what do you you have to watch like if you're about to fucking die and like moody. what are you watching i'm moody okay i'll watch he's moody that. It depends. For, yeah, your excuse, depends. your excuse for not knowing your top two moodies is you are moody. I, that makes that no sense. Moods. What the fuck? I you sh- the you sh- sh- oh, and I, I don't have like a solid set list. Um, let's see. You're I dead to me. Two What's movies? the first thing that comes I to swear. mind? <clears throat> I'm thinking. I'm thinking hard. Wow. You ever seen Goodwill Hunting? No. <clears throat> Do you have to be serious or what's going no, on? No, I mean, oh, fuck. <laughs> just I, your dude, favorite movie, like, step- well, dude, it doesn't matter if you like watch it while you're high as shit, like eating some ice cream, bro. Your favorite movie. Feel good movie of the summer. The feel good movie of the summer. The movie I'm watching. All Damn, right. bro. Ooh, Willy Wonka is a chocolate factory. Oh, uh, jeez. Nice. One? No. Nice. The Johnny Depp wow. one. Willy Wonka. Gene Willy Wilder. Wonka. The Johnny Depp one's called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Mm-hmm. Damn. Just like that, you got it. You got cultured. The, I got cultured. <laughs> that is something I would. I'm surprised to even hear. It's a, like, it's a good movie. You, the get, first oh. half is slow, but then it gets really good. Okay. He has all these one-liners. He's always talking shit to the kid. It's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, what else? I guess uh, I'd watch uh, I'd watch uh, super bad. Indeed, I fuck with did it. Yeah. Like, did you just like look at your DVD wall and just like? Oh, random. Like, I don't watch that many movies. That okay. Much. Well, I mean, I thought there'd just be a couple of you like, man, that was still like one of the best things I've ever watched. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, All right, Nick. What are yours, Mister Mister? I got every opinion. Yeah. Every movie that's been talked about here. Inception and Lord of the Rings. Inception. 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 And then Lord of the Rings would be my top two. But like I would want to watch no matter what. All right, hey, okay. Out of Harry Potter, which which is which is the best Harry Potter out of the seven? Oh, eight uh... or whatever. There's two acceptable. Are... There's two acceptable answers for this one, by the way. Dude, this is actually a question that is debated heavily. Like, so there's there's two types of people: people that like the Chamber of Secrets, and people that think that's the worst one. I am a person one. that think that's the worst, worst one. one. Worst one, dude. Worst one. Okay, good. I really like the Prisoner of Azkaban, but I think Adrian, come on, I think Goblet of Fire, or, Goblet of Fire is really good. It's... Order of the Phoenix is really good. Half Blood Prince is really. Good. I might say Half Blood Prince or Goblet yeah. of Fire. Nick, indeed. So, uh, Ben, right. what are your two favorite movies then? Bro? I don't know. I've never thought of that. I've never, I've never actually thought about the Harry Potter one. I'm not sure. I don't have a number. Oh, what? Come on. In- insects? What the hell <laughs> the... are you talking about? Insects? Oh, jeez. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, so, uh, Bang, what movies. are your top two movies then, man? Lord of the Rings. The whole trilogy counts for three. Don't ask any further questions. Okay. Oh, all right, so fair just, enough. The, just, just the trilogy? Just yeah. all three movies, That's yeah. That's cheating. Yeah, I mean, I picked, I still picked two. The fuck? I mean, I could pick, like, a Goodwill Hunting. I could pick, like, Good Will I don't know. Goodwill Hunting is a good movie. Beautiful That's Minds, the... decent. Um, mm-hmm. Holy, what kind of fucking movies do you watch yeah, in free time, dude? That, that really bro, caught me bro, I'm, watching, I'm, watching, I'm watching, like, Tropic Thunder or, like, you know, some, like... Some, like, Pineapple oh, see, I don't, yeah. see, I don't get into those movies. Django Unchained. Django. Tarantino. Django is so good, bro. Django it Unchained is. might have the coolest walk-up song for any sport you could ever play, dude. Hunter Black yeah. Coffins is probably the coolest song you could ever walk up to. <laughs> yeah. 
Another Wait, Nick, don't I recall you saying you didn't like Django? I think it was very overhyped. I another, thought it was another so very, cool. It's another very boring fucking It's the only, movie. like, two-hour and 30-minute movie I've ever been able to it's sit just through. It's drawn out. I'm, so I think I that's that says something. It's just drawn out for me. So you're telling me you didn't like Titanic culture? I did like Titanic. It's oh, just like it's... Long and I, okay, but I... Okay, bro, <laughs> I have, like... I have hardcore ADD, bro. I can't sit there and just watch shit like sure. that forever. So it has to really okay. catch my attention. He was, he was absorbed in Titanic. The love story? Titanic. The titties, yeah. <laughs> it's, a tit- it's a Titanic waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Nikki goes for really movie. This shit. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Adrian's there just like the painting scene. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, favorite video game. Yeah, this is easy. Nick, oh. you start. Oh no, I'm not starting that. I got oh I'll like, start. ever. Like ever, ever. ever. Okay. Ooh. Culture. Yeah, go Chris, go first. Alright, Call of Duty three. Damn, okay. <laughs> That's a neat pick. Right no, before... well, I'll give my ex- I'll give my explanation since Nick la- Nick laughed it's when I got my. Went po- it's the only Call of Duty ever went positive. In. No, 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 no. <laughs> when I was like when I was like eight nine years old, I got my like original Xbox, and I literally only had Call of Duty three for like a year. So I learned like everything about that game. I played the campaign like fifteen times. I knew like every map back and forth, bro. Like I love that game. I can dig that. Mm-hmm. Smokey, I gotta. You go can do next. two games too. If you do, you want to do another game? Yeah, do two. Right, right. Okay. Um, this is gonna be really weird, but NASCAR Rumble on the PS One. It was like NASCAR <laughs> and like Mario, like NASCAR and Mario Kart mixed together, but it had like insanely wild like power ups. There was one. Where it was just like insanely stupid, but it was fun as hell. And I remember playing the fuck out of it when I was a little kid. Damn, we're getting all I can dig it. Trying to, trying to think if any games I like back in the day. <laughs> I got my back in the day shot. What about you? Can you hear me say NASCAR? I was like, damn, right. this dude really is from the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, Smoke? Alright. So, like, I guess the game I played a lot of when I was Pokemon. younger. Yeah, well, that's, that's coming up. <laughs> my first game is Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Do oh, two yes. battle, yes, sir. Probably. It's Adventure Two Battle, actually. Yeah, Two Battle, one of the best games ever made, so I think. One of my top ones, and then Pokemon, probably Emerald. I was gonna guess that you were gonna say Emerald. Emerald, it's a That's small game. I, just I probably played it. Sapphire more than any other Pokemon game. I played a lot of Ruby. And then I moved to Emerald, and that's when I got in deep. And I kind of that's, that's that's when it was over. That's when you just that's when it just turned into an addiction. Yep, that's. I mean, no, I stopped for a long time, and then I got Heart Gold. Played that for a while, and then I uh, I started uh, doing um, Sun and Moon. Now I'm just. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over. Pokemon. Alright, Caden. So, uh, yeah, Caden. Mine, so mine are World of Warcraft. I was addicted as fuck to World of Warcraft for Dork. Oh, hundred hundred percent, dude. I know that. That's some shame. pretty dorky shit, dog. I, I have zero shame in admit it, dude. No Nerd. I was always And then uh Dork. So, see easy, yo, dude, chill out. Oh my the, bad. Dude, World of Warcraft, I probably put way too many fucking hours in that game. And then uh Halo three. Easily, easy three. Uh, <laughs> easy. I remember only asking for two, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was that was cheated. two. I said I said World Warcraft and Halo. Sorry, hey, Halo oh. three. Hey, relax. Hey, aren't you an, aren't hey. you a finance major? Don't you? <laughs> do you do do it? It? I just go. No. Yeah. All right, you're up, Bing. Top two. Wind Waker. Hey, hey, hey. Did I interrupt you during your turn? <laughs> Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is my number one. And uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is my number two. 
Oh, really? Really? I, I, I can do see know you those ones. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real friend, and I know your favorite games. I yeah. appreciate that. I, I knew WoW was one of yours. I knew that, because yeah. you, you nerded out to me for, like, a while about it. Hell yeah, dude. That game was fucking life, dude. Yeah, no shame in that. No shame I'm in that. So jealous that I never had a party to play WoW. Really? Yeah. I, I just, I, you know, I was in love with Tetra, so that was my life. <laughs> Dope. Tetra. <laughs> So Nick, now since you Wait. avoided the question the entire time, what are uh, your top two games? <laughs> okay, so like top two would probably be StarCraft Two, would be like okay. my first one, because that's the Starcraft? first game I ever, first game I ever I fucking knew. played. First I didn't expect I that played. at all. That's what got me into gaming was StarCraft Two. Like, like I had always had other systems, but like StarCraft Two introduced me to like MLG, and that's what got me going. And then. Second one, ugh, I'm gonna be like that guy that says like either or, but I would say probably COD Four, Modern Warfare. That's like the first time I ever actually like made money from playing video games. So that would be kind of cool. That's the first time I ever had like a, actually signed on a contract for video games. First time I ever made money for video games. Wait, wait, who are you signed by, Nick? I'm not going into detail on that one. <laughs> Come, on, bro. Come, on, Come no, on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He was signed by one. Fear Moho after the organization dissolved. <laughs> no, what I do love those fuckers. But, uh, it was like it was like some it was like small shit, but still like I ended up making a little bit of money off of that. Nothing crazy like at all, but it got it's like what got me into. Actually, wanted to have a team and stuff like that. So, <laughs> Dang, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny, bro. <laughs> no, like you said the chat, bro. Yeah, I would say Halo <laughs> Two would be like right next to COD Four, but yeah. Halo Two is a great game. Halo Two is a great game. I know. It's like the best. <laughs> it's like one of the best campaigns. Oh, no, StarCraft Two and Call of Duty Four. Those are my two. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think that's the perfect way. Yeah, to end this. Uh, God, I know it was only an hour and forty-five minutes, but it really was like three fucking hours for as long as everything yeah. took to do. Yeah, um, yeah. But no, I mean, I think I we're pretty good. Time. I'm glad you came out, Bing. Thanks for being on the podcast, episode six. Right? I keep asking that. This I don't know why six. I can't remember. That's episode six. Yes. Episode six of the uh, caged podcast series guest number two was akara bang the number two ultimate player but soon to be number one we expect at some point again um the number think, doesn't matter i'm just the best that's all that matters that's fine best best call of duty player in colorado we'll go we'll go with that one damn i'm the best call of duty player in colorado call you heard of your duty? First. damn yeah wow. oh, wait, oh, yikes yikes yeah, that's, crazy. Crazy. that's crazy that's crazy it's, the only Call of Duty player in Colorado. I'm hyping them up so I can smoke them. I was like, oh, I think number one. That's nuts. Nick, you're the only Call of Duty player in Colorado. Damn, bro. Uh, I'm just, I, I, fucked, I fucked that you one was, up. You bro, played yourself, you Nick. Congratulations. My, my fucking brain <laughs> Thanks, guys. is fried. But, yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. We got a few more people coming on the next few. Uh, we're going to have a a new a new car member pretty soon he'll be a podcast on the 30th and then we got a couple of like a couple of the companies we got the the owner of sns labs he'll be joining us hopefully next wednesday and then uh we're gonna get the pegasus owner on here the owner of sword dog yeah. i'm not sure who's gonna be uh this sunday but we'll figure something out all right but i think that yeah. would do it for caged episode six uh Thanks for everybody that stayed in the chat. If you're new, make sure you drop a follow. Really appreciate it. And I think that's it. Let's drop. Have a great night, everybody. Culture.